Fun. Right? Hello, gamer. <laughs> we uh, missed you. We're back. We're back. Oh my gosh! Thank you for waiting for the first two week for the for our last for a little break. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we're hopping in. We're here. We're excited. We missed you. Half the lights long. just went off. Oh, they're back. <laughs> they're There's back. a ghost. There's a ghost that's also similarly excited uh, for us to be back for Generation Fantasy. What is uh, happening? Will I deal with the ghost that's trying to take over my room right now? Why don't we go to? Ah! <laughs> what is happening? Why are you screaming? <laughs> what is happening, I'm though? I'm scared. What is it's happening? It literally <laughs> just happened right now. I know right we hasn't been doing this until we get in live. Um, why don't we go down the line and introduce ourselves? <laughs> uh, just one minute, one minute at a time. Uh, go ahead and start, whoever. whoever. Uh, I'll start. <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? My name's uh, Carlos. My lights work. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> Uh, I play Omo, and our pronouns are he, him. Um, TK. It's it's me, TK. I don't know what's happening. Uh, I play Bayou, and my pronouns are they, them, and so are Bayou's. That's it. Uh, it's Solani. Hi, I'm Solani. Uh, I play Kaya, she, her, uh, and she's the bestest girl. Is All it- right. Um, okay, so I Wait, think Masoud. the light is Masoud. Oh, yeah, well, I didn't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to introduce bit. yourself, I'm but I'm going to go Barbie hey, while I fix my hey, light. Hey, I'm Masoud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Masoud. <laughs> I play Kent Vanderbilt. Both of our pronouns are he, him. Uh, and we'll get to roasting my look in a little bit, but please, ooh, get the comments ready in the chat. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, I said, I said no time for roasts. We're busy this week. So mm-hmm. I want to hop in right away. I just say we go straight for arguing for inspiration Honestly, and then we'll the, just take it from there. The chat um, actually, the actually, uh, Katie, me, I'd love to stop you right there. Uh, we've been off for two weeks. Uh, we're on the front page of Twitch. There might be some folks who don't know. I think we need to do an episode recap. And so Carlos, if you'd be so kind, I put a little something together um, actually for us uh, that I think would be truly perfect. Do you conspire against the crowd? I just What's think I, I think with our limited time, it's Succession important to get, bring playing. people up to speed. You wrote a musical. <laughs> Wait, what am I looking at right now? Oh. Sid says you need to be off book. <laughs> or you can't do the show can't, anymore. Can't happen. Uh, are you guys ready? Uh, Carlos, you can uh, begin. Just uh, uh, just click. Okay, here we go. This is for, it's showing up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I like how it's coming in slow like a church program. Uh you can cl- I believe you can click one more time. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Generation <laughs> Fantasy episodes one through six. A recap by the main hero of our tale, Kent Vanderbilt. Next slide. Okay. Our story takes place in Jenkins, Nebraska, with our heroes, if you'd be so kind. Bayou, Kaya. Omo, and of course Kent. These are size appropriate. I, I try to like scale Omo, them. So much bigger. Uh, I was thinking about it. Tight. Like, yeah. how, how big am I? I feel like almost like really is like he's tall. He's I'm like lanky. Seven feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I try to get it appropriate where I imagine on it. Yeah. Well, wait, no, hold on. How how tall is Bayou? Bayou is like five five three or five two. <laughs> so Bayou's is five five. I'm five two. Okay, okay, so Kent is like five five six. Five seven, guess. five six. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm also a solid five, seven one. Like, All right, it's five <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Uh, uh, and then, uh, so our, these are our heroes. Uh, they take place in Jenkins, Nebraska, a small town in Nebraska or somewhere else. Um, and so, let us begin. Okay. Spring break or bust? Our first episode. Omo began his day by going to work after meeting his mom and some of Brightwood <laughs> Grove's neighborhood charm. At Morning Joe's, we met Bayou, who comes in later because of their previous job. Margot Day pulls in in a sick red convertible and gives Bayou a job for $1,500. Omo overhears and decides to ditch school and follow Bayou. Kaya at this time has gotten up and had a perfect morning with her loving father and no one is jealous. She then goes to school. <laughs> That's a weird thing Kent's to say. His <laughs> dad wakes up very kindly reminded uh, Kent's dad wakes him up and very kindly reminded him he should be getting up earlier to work out. Kent then goes to school. Kent and Kaya get called into Principal Marfigo to give a personal tour to Portia Cole. Along the way, they stop at Valiant High where Portia leaves to take a phone call. 
Bayou and Omo arrive at Valiant High as well, and both pairs are worried they will ruin each other's plans. Then Meow Meow jumps out of Omo's shoulder and eats a glowing stone before running into Valiant High. Who is Meow Meow? Meow Meow is Omo's pet squirrel. Okay. Um, next slide, I guess. <laughs> how does half Stevie Nicks half Stevie Wonder. I like these little... <laughs> I love these little animations when it comes in. Thank right. you. Please. It's like made by a high schooler. <laughs> <laughs> Days and Nights, episode two. The gang chases after Meow Meow and Omo catches him right before he gets through a chain link fence. Kaya and Omo. Um, you know, why am I reading off the stream? I have this like on my own. <laughs> Just read the much clearer character. version of it. <laughs> the gang chases after Meow Meow and Omo catches him. Kaya and Omo see something under the fence that can't be seen from above it. They find a hole to crawl under and force Kent against his better conscience to endanger himself to radiation poisoning. Bayou loots the guardhouse, typical. They find a vial of strange liquid, amongst other things, set aside for Bradley MacArthur's birthday blowout. They also crawl under the fence. On the other side, they find two suits of armor, note the armor, guarding the door. They ask a riddle and Kent flawlessly realizes the answer. He also climbed onto the roof of Valiant High and found a sword. The gang goes inside where Omo finds the briefcase, but locks them in the school. Kaya finds more glowing green stones in an empty vial, while Kent finds a room filled with cl crystal clusters that trigger something within him. Bayou befriends a squirrel bear, and Kent cuts its shackles. Omo gets mad at Kent for doing something so cool and throws his sword. <laughs> Is that what happens? Very uncool. <laughs> Omo finds a dead body. It's Lucius Malfucius, <laughs> according to his wallet. Omo buries him. So the gang low go on the list the of game. things that happened. So low. It we happened, almost, though. We almost, like, graze over that part. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta include it, though. You find There's a dead, dead body. guy. There's a dead and, guy. And Omo was uncool. <laughs> The gang go into the gym where they're knocked out by Portia casting a spell. They wake up in the back of the limo and are dropped off at school. Kent and Kaya remember vaguely what happened. Omo and Bayou don't. Next slide. Peasant. Utter devastation. <laughs> oh my God. Utter devastation. The gang oh fights the <laughs> auditorium on the so set of the Spring Summer High School production Into the Woods. They are attacked by a dire cow wolf. Do you guys like how the, um, the animation of it popping into screen? I thought oh, it, was, yeah. mm, it was powerful. <laughs> Thank you. Was that all that uh, happened in that episode? Yeah, that's all that happened. We can move on. Okay. Next slide. Spiders and, and skimble shanks. Collective. Uh, so episode four, after learning their powers, the gang meet up at Kent's house, the Vanderbilt Estate. In the backyard, they practice their abilities with the tennis ball machine. They learn more about the powers as Kent hosts them so graciously. As he thanks Bayou, uh, and as thanks, Bayou hires a spire to bite Kent in his sleep that night. All right. Eat Kent's, mom and dad, Kent's mom and dad are waiting in the house for the gang, and they all meet one another. Kaya and Bayou leave, and then Omo leaves after being fawned upon by Kent's parents. Kent then tells his parents a modified truth of what happened. Mani's ma magical stuff. They totally accept him wholly and don't scold or berate him whatsoever. <laughs> Kent then goes to bed where Omo has snuck in. He forces Kent to sneak out and the whole gang goes to U-Town. Bayou goes to meet Marco Day and the gang go to back them up. Along the way, Omo meets Brett Brock, who Omo will murder someday. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Bayou successfully convinces Margo that all the other vials are broken. On the way out, Robin Riley tries to start something with Kent, but he gets a sick burn in before peeling out in the Prius with Kaya. Check it out on TikTok. Omo and Bayou <laughs> walk home with Kaya, and, and while Kaya gets dropped off by Kent. Kaya finds a purple VW bug in the driveway, a gift from her dad because her life is perfect, or whatever. <laughs> Next episode. <laughs> or whatever. There's some there's Dreams some and donuts. <laughs> While Kent drops off Kaya, Bayou and Omo go to Morning Joe's and theorize the <laughs> conspiracy. Smaller, smaller. When they all fall asleep, they each dream of themselves in a storm. Omo is caught in a mist so thick that he can barely move. He tries to go further and further, but is eventually stopped, drowning in mist. Kent is in a violent stand sandstorm that whips him harshly. Aware he is lucid dreaming, Kent shouts the storm to leave his mind, and it does. Bayou is in the eye of a violent storm. It edges lashes out, growing closer to them. As the tornado passes by, it shows potential possibilities of what could have been. Bayou waits the storm out bravely until a pathway emerges. 
Kaya dreams of fireflies that twinkle around them. When they begin to annoy Kaya, she just wills them away because she's perfect or whatever. We and Bayou and Kaya emerge in a room with a massive basin surrounded by 11 pedestals. They all each have a corresponding gemstone. Kent presses his and wakes up. Kaya and Bayou test the other pedestals before the storm in the basin grows wild and wakes them up. Everyone has a normal morning after that, where no one is emotionally manipulated by their mom while getting a private home call for a house call from a doctor to test them for radiation poisoning. The gang meets up at Morning Joe's and catches up on theories. They agree to meet at Bayou's next job, Ted's taxidermy, when Ken, Kaya, and Omo finish school. Before the gang arrives, Bayou run, runs into the squirrel bear, and it hides in the store. Last side. Blood and birthmarks. Mm, yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the gang meet at Ted's taxidermy and discuss what next to do. Kaya is already feeling, is also feeling bad because they used their powers to, gain, uh, to their gain in making fun of Bradley, but it went south when he flung the dead frog at Sonny Young. Kent learned that he is better at using his power for his gain. The gang then discusses uh, the squirrel bell issue where they hide in the bathtub, which they hide it in the bathtub with the invisibility spell. Then Robin Riley comes in. Robin and her two goons attempt to make uh, to shake more info from Bayou about the vials, and she punches Kent in the process. One of her goons goes into the room and the squirrel bear, and it gets a uh, bit real bad. The Kent uh, Kent uses magic to force Robin to leave as Omo goes to town on one of her goons' kidneys. As the three begin to leave, a mysterious figure shoots an arrow into the heart of Robin, mortally wounding her. The gang try to fight this new threat, but are no match. The fight ends after the assassin sees Kent's packed weapon and birthmark are the same symbol as her sigil. Omo throws a car at her, and then she vanishes in a puff of smoke. Did you just skip over the part where Kaya almost died? No. no. We also so that's skipped it, over that, the part that's where the, Omo the no actually tried to kill some people, but... <laughs> yeah, the, the, the kidney punches, that's there. Uh, the game. <laughs> when he tried to feed two kids to a bear. Oh, that yeah. too, right. <laughs> the gain reckon with the devastation this horned woman caused it. and rush their injured enemies, the ones that can be saved, to the hospital. Bayou takes the squirrel bear into the woods uh, with, uh, yes, towards the abandoned railroad station. Last slide. <clears throat> and now episode eight. <laughs> and now episode seven, sorry. We got a slight oh. error. You're welcome. Quote, Kent Vanderbilt. Uh, you missed out on some of the other PowerPoint animations. There were some claps involved. The, uh, there were some twisting and dissolves, but we'll make do with what we can. Uh, Katie Mays, yeah. It's yeah. all star wipes. All you, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll put the star wipes in in post. Uh, um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for this PowerPoint, Mr. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I, I thought it was appropriate would, for folks. <laughs> I would rate it an A+. Plus. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. Um, what? Um, <laughs> you don't I even. Just, it's don't like even give I him a would, reason? but I know. Like, unfortunately, no. Yeah. Dude, actually, I. Yeah, it's so funny. So, no, I've I've talked too much. I can't tell you the story. Well, I'll tell that break. We'll move on. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll move on. Then. Thank you for that wonderful PowerPoint, Masood. Um, this is Generation Fantasy. Uh, we've been off for two weeks, and we wanted to make sure that you were caught up. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, Masood, it's an A-plus in my heart, but I do have to fail you because Robin's pronouns are they, them. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> making a and note of it. So just, uh, you know, I are in danger of flunking out of Dungeons & Dragons College, so be careful. <laughs> But we'll keep we'll keep going. Um, all right, so I think it's about time to hop back in. If we want to head over to the map, so we can kind of see where we're at, the Jenkins map. I'll drag the players over there, and Carlos, you can take the audience. Um, and it is, and it's time for us. It's been a while since we viewed the great map of Jenkins that we built in one of our original world building episodes. But here we are. We are driving as quick as we can down the road from Ted's taxidermy bonanza. Let me get my little drawing, my little drawing tool out from Ted's taxidermy bonanza, which is right here all the way to the hospital, it's which like is not a hospital. Hey, <laughs> what is that? Is it a letter G? I think it's is a letter a, G. Is it a heart? What yeah. is going on over there? Go, what is that? Is go for me. Doing my best work. This yeah. is as good as it gets. It's an unraveled right. paper clip. Well, 
Um, it's like a smurf head? I mean, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's pregnant clippy. We keep going. All right, here we go. So uh, there are two. The party is split. Yeah. You have Kaya in the back seat of the blood-stained Prius. Omo <laughs> is in the passenger seat. Kent's driving. Kent, are you? Your hands ten and two. You're getting to the hospital. You gotta get there in time. It's yeah. a wing of City Hall. You're you're honed in. You know, <laughs> Rob and Riley may be bleeding out in the back, and Kaya is not looking hot either. Um, and so you you are just driving as quickly as you can. And while you're driving, I actually want to stop and visit Dear Bayou. Kai is always looking hot. That is true. <laughs> I have Dear hands. Bayou, <clears throat> you have you are on top of a giant always. squirrel bear. Oh <laughs> <laughs> No, I have to minimize Sorry, you. I'm I have to minimize sword. you now. That's a bad Katie may pick someone else. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, you, uh, 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 I'm stammering in bottom. Hold on, hold on. Um, okay, so you are you are on a top of a squirrel bear, and you have to get this squirrel bear out of the center of town before people notice it. Um, this is your current objective. And so you mentioned in the last episode that you want to go in the tunnels. Yeah. Yeah. So these are these are the sort of the forbidden underground tunnels of Jenkins, Nebraska. No one can really tell you why they were made, but they're all pretty well made. Can you tell me a bit about how you first discovered them? I think that Bayou first discovered them very early into after they dropped out of school and like were first starting to work for Margot. And mm. I would go so far as to say there were probably people who have mer worked for Margot before that have used them and showed by you where they were. Okay, that makes sense. Margot got you in. Um, so you are currently underneath in the tunnels of Jenkins, Nebraska, and you are trying to go from Ted's Taxidermy Bonanza, which I will notate again with uh, a slightly more robust paper clip, all the way. <laughs> we <laughs> um, we Katie May, can you? actually delete that uh, <laughs> i won't it's yeah it looks just, wait no wait uh, there, a robust uh a robust arrow that's pointing this way uh because that's the direction you're heading in as we head in this robust direction <laughs> towards towards the abandoned railway i would like you to roll a per i'm sorry my lights started flickering and this episode got more feral than it ever should have no, 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 that's cool Go ahead. Just, we know why the we're lights never on the front were page flickering again. <laughs> <possessed> now <laughs> Um, go ahead and roll me a perception check as you descend into the tunnels. Right. The nearest entryway is by U-Town, um, underneath the theater that hosts the Skimbleshanks Collective. This Hell is yeah. your the entrance. The only band in town. <laughs> the only one. All right, you said perception? Mm-hmm. Go ahead and give me a perception check. And I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's actually going to be the closest way to get underground. But that's, it's pretty close by. That's um, I might... A 10 perception, I a, okay. I have a plus four, I don't. Well, uh, if that tells us how the nights is gonna go, it's gonna be great for me. Uh, go mm. ahead and give me a stealth check at disadvantage. This is rude. Uh, public roll, please. It's an 11. An 11. I have a five in stealth. Ouch. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, you are just getting to the entrance of, uh, oh, this is delicious. I think what happens is, I appreciate this. This is cyberbullying. I think you're, I think you're trying to get, you know, this bear into these tunnels and going through, uh, U-Town is going to be your quickest and best way to do it. Um, and what you're having to do is walk past Janko industries that's across the street normally it would be fine right because you can kind of like use the corn stalks to hide because it's an agricultural hub unfortunately um you are like in an alleyway between two workplaces when you see bradley <laughs> uh kent's number two uh kind of like turn into this alleyway to do what you have no idea but just the sheer poor timing of it all you are walking this squirrel bear down the alleyway at the same time that bradley is turned into the alleyway to drive down can i ask um, a qu question 
is it still invisible or is like has the invisibility dropped i imagine that it is dropped okay because kai yeah, is almost dead and also to... like a mile away right well uh kent cast it but it would have needed um concentration either way and i think the invisibility only lasts within a certain radius yeah. i don't know I think mm, it's, okay. yeah. Yeah, so you are nonchalantly riding a mutant bear, as chat would put it, uh, down the street. Mm -hmm. um, are, are there any split actions that you're taking in this moment as Chase risks discovering you? Not Chase, uh, Bradley. Bradley! <laughs> the Bradster. Bradley and Chase uh, has like the same energy to me. <laughs> uh, part of the reason I chose the names. Uh, hmm. I oof. is he is he looking towards or away from me? He is looking at his phone. He's driving while texting, and he shouldn't be. I think that Bayou does the thing that you do whenever you're like, mm, "Don't notice me," because they they did roll low on stale. What I would usually do in a in a situation like this is I would just be like, "Well, I'm gonna go about my business," and if you do something with enough confidence, people assume you belong there. But I don't think that Bayou, with a ten perception and an eleven stealth, has that energy. And right. so I think what they do is they overcompensate um by like standing in front of friend and like kind of like okay. posing against the wall and like <laughs> hey what's up <laughs> nothing to right. see here type of bullshit <clears throat> so you think that it's fair we'll do a perception check for for bradley and what do we say dc of like like you know what? I feel like the DC for Bradley, it, he's such a capable young man. Yes. His DC to notice me should be somewhere around like an 18. An mm -hmm. 18 or higher for him to notice. Yeah, you. yeah. I feel <laughs> like that's fair. Absolutely not. Absolutely. No, no, no. <laughs> gonna... just, just do yourself, right? Like you rolled an 11. What, yeah, what, I'm going to bump it down. I'm going to bump it down to, uh, yeah. I'll, oh, yeah. Let's see if he just beats your actually, check. That's how we'll play it. I was thinking yeah. somewhere like a 17. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if he beats your 11 stealth check. Uh, Bradley gets a plus one. Okay, uh, well, see. this is cyberbullying, and I... Ah! Oh, I got a 12! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, baby. When will the patriarchy let me thrive? <laughs> Trust me, I didn't think how this episode was going to start. Uh, as... as, as uh, Bradley MacArthur, uh, resident, he, he would call himself resident bad boy of the senior class. Wow. Him. Um, I mean, okay. Yeah. He, well, I mean, no one else thinks him to be this, but he definitely considers himself the bad boy of the senior class. Well, he shouldn't. <laughs> no, he should not. It's absolutely sunny. Um, and um, he, like, Brad, like, slows his car down to a stop and rolls down the window and says... By you? Uh, hey, what's up? Are Person you? I never talk to. Are you in danger? From what? Is that a Halloween costume? What? Uh, I want to turn around and pretend to just now notice it. <laughs> Wait, aren't you riding on top of it? Yeah, you're. you're oh no, no you're I, I think I think TK said that Bayou like oh, got down. Okay. Uh, and tried uh, to like stand in front of the giant. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, to, like, not affiliated with this thing. Right. Um. Okay. Uh. So now you you turn around, you pretend to notice it for the first time, and what do you say? I don't think that by let me look at my charisma real quick. Uh -huh. I don't think that Bayou is a good liar by any means. And I me want either. to see how how comically bad of a liar they are real That's quick. Mm, okay. okay. A deception. Meet a nine charisma. Um, I think they turn around and they lie about like I do and go like, oh, <laughs> hey, uh, wow. This. Wow. God, that's... Oh my God, it must have escaped from the zoo. Get in the car. Nah. Is live or die out here? Uh, no, nah, <laughs> I I think I'll just run away. And Bayou like walks in a different direction. I think I'll just run away. 
Okay, so you start running away. That's no, I'm not running. I'm just like <laughs> walking slowly. <laughs> if I saw a bear, <laughs> if if a I bear was that has like a vestial, like looks like a squirrel at the top yeah. front, like. Yeah. <laughs> but like the only thing you can compare to is like a bear, though, right? Like yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like yeah. So size. I see a bear and this yeah. person next to a bear, and I say, <laughs> "Oh my god, get in the car!" And they said. Nah, I'm good. I'll just run. I'll just walk. There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me. The car's not good enough. Car's not gonna protect me. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put our friend friend on the map so that we can remember. I'll take my chances with a bear. I'll take my chances with God. Um. Yeah. So this is our. This is our dear friend. Because Bayou doesn't want to leave friend, but also doesn't want to get in the car with Brad because that would also leave friend. So I think Bayou's gonna like, go be like, uh, I'll run away this way. We'll split up and confuse it. Okay, so you say, I'm gonna run away this way. We'll split up and confuse it. Yeah. And then you start walking away from friend. Yeah, like a, you know, like a jazz walk. Like a- Okay, yeah. Brother says, oh my God, Bayou, you're so smart. Oh my God, even if you're lame. All right, I'll call, you know what? My dad will know what to do about this. Fuck. And pulls his phone out of the pocket and pulls it up to like call his dad. Uh, I can't believe I'm gonna have to kill a kid. <laughs> out of his head, just like slap it out of his head. <laughs> I don't know if that's what that means. <laughs> it's uh, ringing, it, it, it's ringing by you. Uh, my dad always he... picks up though, unless he's talking to his secretary. Um, what? How far away from him am I? You're like two, five feet, maybe. Okay. Oh, he's still in the car, though. Look, you're not giving me a lot of options, and it's hard to read you as a DM um, because I've only had you as my DM for six episodes. If I reach over and punch him in the face, yeah, what kind of consequences can I expect? If I tell you, then it's not Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <You're> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, Look, we're all learning today. Still, we're all learning. You can still tell me, like, because the outcome is the same. I'm still, I'm still going to, like, either knock the phone out of his hand or, like, punch him in the face. You have, like, three seconds before I'm going to punch him in the up. face, so now I have a different problem. <laughs> <laughs> An attack! And uh, you're going to roll that attack, and I'm going to hop on back to uh, Kaya. <laughs> I'm going to let TK simmer in that panic for a little bit. And I'm going to hop back over to Kent, Kaya, and Omo. You are pulling up to City Hall in the Prius. The Enya mix is still going in your ears. Um, You've pulled up at the hospital. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, um, what do we What do we tell them? What? Uh, 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 go over the story again. Um, oh, we don't they, tell them anything. Almost just putting dump his the shirt, body. shirt over his head. So, like, because they're cameras. <laughs> uh, put your shirt over your head. Put something over your what? face. Cover no. it up. No. Just co- cover it up. There's right now. blood on my shirt. I'm in mean, blood's gonna get on my face. Who cares about? Kai <laughs> like... is just like just pull up to the curb and leave the body and go. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, Robin. Robin. I just I like kind of know, like pop out on either side. Okay. Robin, this was great. I um, uh, hope you find the vials Kent, that you're looking for. She's oh, unconscious. I know. She's not we hear you. We saved your life. Well, they're and not then, gonna like, hear you. Omo, anything else? Anything you want to say? Remember, I saved your life. And then, like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Kaya, you are not seeking medical attention yeah. at this hospital. Uh, I could, but. Kaya is more afraid that they're gonna call her dad, mm-hmm. and she's just like, I, uh, "I've got a, I've got a one hand on one wound and like a mage hand on another wound, and just like <laughs> holding things in." I'm just like, "Can we just go?" Yeah, okay. you were like actively bleeding, I would say, <laughs> uh, which is fun and great. I'll be like, uh, uh, "Omo, can you just like run in and get some bandages real quick, or like, do you have some in your in your uh, your go bags or whatever they call?" Oh, uh, but all you see is kind of like 
Watchmen style. What's that guy's name? Rorschach from <laughs> Watchmen. Oh yeah. Uh, it, like leaves the body and like he has a bug out bag, so he has like all that oh, stuff God. in there. Uh, like, like pop yeah. up in the yeah. trunk. And, like take. Yeah, I will say that because you've specified that you have a bug out bag, I will let you take it. Uh, but I'm gonna be tough about inventory stuff, you little clowns. I got my eyes on you. Uh, <laughs> as I we, <laughs> I'm just, I just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm trying, a, I'm trying like a new threatening DM energy. Oh, oh no, is that what that was? Is that, yeah, that, that was intimidating. <laughs> That was nice. I like it. You yeah. were haunted at the beginning of the episode. You really set a tone. Yeah, like, yeah I'm scared. I'm yeah, scared. <laughs> haunted to, to mean. Uh, all right. So then, uh, so okay. So you you hop, you pop the trunk. I assume you drive away so you don't oh, get yeah. caught. Yeah, I'm I drive away because yeah. I yeah. Okay. Idle so, in front of the hospital. <laughs> so uh, where is the hospital? So Do where are we hospital? going? The hospital is in a wing of City Hall. Okay. Gotcha. We were going to the library, weren't we? To like the yes, yeah, because we can go to the private, uh, the Kent's room that nobody yeah. farts in. Um, okay, let's go. Okay, because okay, so then it's you intended. To, are you picking up Bayou at the railway station, or are you meeting Bayou at the library? Are you let's, abandoning? Bayou? Let's assume that Bayou will meet them at the library because Bayou had planned to use the tunnels. I think that, okay, cool. that was the thing. You were going to like ditch the squirrel bear there. How well, bad is I was Kaya's? going to drop off. Those sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, how yeah. Bad yeah. Is Kaya, don't ditch our Kaya's friends wound. no matter how bad it is. I have four hit points. Okay, yeah. I looked at, yeah. Because I great. think the, I, I, I don't know what, what what we can do other than, well, does the stuff I have in my bag help or or no? Manages. Yeah, like go ahead and roll a medicine check. And TK, I put a safety check in chat. Can I uh, help out by driving carefully or like? Yeah, this? yeah, yeah. You can assist. Go ahead. Roll that, me, roll me a dexterity. Oh, I have I have mage hand as well. Can I just like use mage hand to like assist to drive? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like with like bandages while like almost. In the oh, back, I see. Like, yeah, the mage over. hand is like tearing it open. And yeah, and like hand. It's <laughs> sterile. It's sterile. Just <laughs> like yeah. I was trying to swat his mage hand. Out of the way. Like, come on, it's, it's fine. It. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, give me that medicine check. A, a 14? 14. Consistent. All right, uh, Kaya, you can go ahead and use one of your hit dice. Oh, sweet. Thank Heck you. Yeah. Appreciate it. That's not how Dungeons and Dragons usually works, but whatever. Because the other thing I would say is maybe we can swing by, and I think Oma would, would think this, but like um, this would be Omo's other hunch is that Zelda Bradbury might be able to help. Because um, mm. isn't she into like all that new age healy, healing type stuff and like magic stuff? Yes. Yeah. Zelda Bradbury is. Uh, so I think so, I would I would say yeah. that to Kaya. Uh, I, Wait, I, who Zelda? The I don't know the kook know. by the fountain. Yeah. Is she gonna call my dad? Because he's gonna freak out. Okay. That uh, is okay. I don't know. How, I don't know how bad it is. I don't like this. Looks real bad. Okay, it's okay. not great. It's if if you feel if you feel up to it, let's do it. Let's see how many hits. <laughs> Go oh one. It went back. back. We're, we're up to one hit. We're up to five, baby. Okay. Okay. Clearly, Y'all we're not rolling being kind of questionably this evening. Oh my we're God. not. We're not effective right now. We we can't do this. Fine, Omo. You're right. We, we we'll go. Yeah, we'll okay. We'll uh, roll over. Um, I'm taking it carefully, and I uh, inch the Prius over to the Celeste Fountain, where we know Zelda Bradbury is. All right, you're going to go see Zelda Bradbury. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, with your intention to now go see Zelda Bradbury, I think we as the audience can see like some doctors come out and um, be like, finding robin's body <laughs> and then like a stretcher coming out and pulling them back in and i think we can all see that and then we cut back to uh the punch in the face as <laughs> <laughs> hey, May, I'll you, I'll, i will venmo you a thousand dollars if you give me just two seconds to finish these notes they connect <laughs> the venmo, if the thousand dollars on the table whoa, I'm whoa, whoa, i'll do take it in slow motion just explain it in slow motion Katie, yeah like, okay well, so by you reels <laughs> their fist back and see the thing is bradley MacArthur has never been punched before oh that I makes think, sense i think that really MacArthur makes would say that things like it's tough on the street out here <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone else is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you eat out for lunch every day. 
<laughs> you, you have sushi for lunch at, in high school. <laughs> what are you talking I, about? <laughs> I imagine that Bayou was an effective, like, elementary school bully. So mm. they probably punched many a child in the face. So can you imagine calling your dad at work to help this person who yeah. you're trying to there's save? There's a bear outside. <laughs> you're like, hey, dad. Papa, uh, there's a bear. <laughs> Yeah, well, he, he also keeps around a pillowcase full of oregano, so I'm not going to Oh, yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, he's not the, you know, hey, sharpest maybe crayon. Maybe a punch in the face will uh, sh <laughs> knock a, uh, a burn cell loose. Or, uh, yeah, it'll Peachy be encouraging. Ke Peachy Keen in the chat says, ah, nothing like a fresh, unpunched face. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I gently caress it ahead of time. It's just like... Uh, yeah, I just also right love that there. like Bayou just panics and like the panic response is like punch it till it's done. <laughs> <laughs> punch it until a new solution arrives. <laughs> well, it's just like it's just like right now Bradley's biggest fear, like Bradley's biggest concern is this bear. But yeah. if I am if I immediately introduce a more pressing a new threat. threat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, roll me this attack to see how much of a threat you are. What is okay, friend right. gonna do when he so sees? So I you? don't. I don't think I have an unarmed strike. What is the uh? What's the roll for an unarmed strength? strike? Strength. Yeah. Just straight. Yeah, just do a strength check. <laughs> Stop laughing! Oh no, crit fail! <laughs> oh no! How does oh, Bayou oh, never oh, punched oh, anyone? Oh, 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 oh Bayou's oh, never oh, punched oh, anyone. I like to imagine that, slap. like, I like to imagine it slides that, off. <laughs> that Bayou, <laughs> that that Kent just got back from getting like his car washed and the window is up. <laughs> like he rolled the window up to call his dad and he's like rolling it up automatically as Bayou is punching. Oh my god, so you're like throwing like the punch and the glass the is there. Window. And the glass shatters as Bradley MacArthur watches you just punch the glass. That'll do. That'll do. You hear Bradley go, what the fuck? Good enough. <laughs> and then you hear, oh, sorry, Dad. No, not you. No, no, Dad, don't hang up. <laughs> uh, Bradley MacArthur's dad hangs up on him. And then look, Bradley's starting to panic. He says, what do you get? I'm to buy you. What are you doing? There's a bear out there. And you just punched the window of my car. Get the fuck out of here or you're next. Ah! <laughs> Do you need an intimidation? Because I don't think I do. Oh, no. Uh, no, that was terrifying, and I'm afraid to make you roll that, like, again. Uh, I'll I leave love it the up. idea that like the the assumption is that Bayou panics and then immediately robs someone. <laughs> yeah, here's what I'll give you, TK. I'll either let you have a moderate success with this intimidation that you just tried to do, or would you like to do an intimidation trek and try for more? Try because for more. Yeah, try for a more than a moderate success because a moderate success, he's gonna leave. He's gonna do what you want because uh, you were properly intimidating. Uh -huh. But you don't know if he's gonna keep his mouth shut. Bradley MacArthur talks a lot. I will go with a moderate success and leverage the fact that his party shit is about to get raided, mm -hmm. um, and and live with that because he might not want too much cop attention uh on him when all of his like drugs and stuff just got raided he has no all drugs right. he just has oregano <clears throat> uh all of his were, drugs, there drugs. And stuff. <laughs> there were drugs there uh <laughs> and uh yeah you see bradley just like get look really angry flip into reverse and peel out you're the tire screeching kent your phone starts ringing uh, guys, I gotta take What's this. It's gonna, be, it's, go it's gonna be weird if he doesn't. It's gonna be weird if he doesn't. Uh, um, okay. Uh, hey, what's up, Bradster? Ken, you will not believe what the fuck just happened to me. <laughs> Whoa, dude, dude, you know I'm literally where. driving to your house right now. Is that no. where you are? We need to talk about this. No, I'm not there, man. I actually, uh, my parents snuck me away to a quick college visit. Uh, so I'm actually not even in town today. You're not in town? I'm not in town, man. Sorry. I'm I'm all over the what? I was right trying now. to get all the seniors together tonight. Yeah, dude, dude, dude. I'm sorry. I I uh, what were you having something? Listen, I you, listen, you won't believe what just happened to me. All right. I was 
I was pulling down the alleyway because it was the alley that I take all my selfies in. And I pulled <laughs> oh, into I it. And all of a sudden, yeah. Bayou is there. Stand it. You remember Bayou? Oh. Morris in the dropout? Uh, no. Who? Oh, Bayou. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bayou. Yeah, Bayou Bayou's was the standing phone? there no. with like a mute. Who is that? Oh, um, it's just uh, it, it's my my dad's man. You know, he's helping <laughs> us with the luggage, and he's uh, it, you know, he was like, oh, he's a little nosy, um, but yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> yeah, I understand what the help is like. Anyways, uh, I you know, and so I'm sta- so by you standing there, my selfie alley, and all of a sudden, oh wait, I'm, is that the one with the butterfly wings that you sit and stand in front of? And it looks yes, like, it is yeah, obviously. Gotcha. Yeah, and then behind by you was like a giant mutant squirrel bear, and I'm taken uh, aback. I'm immediately like, hey, what is this? Hey, is- wait, wait, explain so that again. First- what what does a mutant squirrel bear even look like? Bayou's what doing it? What are you doing? doing? What are you doing? Can't? Hang up the phone. Oh man, my man, dude. Uh, you gotta you gotta be more careful with the luggage. You don't want it to drop on your toe all the time, and then you get really upset. Stop what? making up weird excuses that involve me and make up excuses that involve you. Just I swear up, that sounds dude. like Omo in the back. <laughs> Who? That sounds like. I'm trying dude, to tell you what happened to my you, dude. Is my friend? You, you're supposed to you listen been, and respect hey, our friendship. Hey, hey, Brad, have you been have you been smoking some of your party flavors? Absolutely not. And that's dude? also something we have to talk about. Wait, what? We have to talk about a lot of things, Kent. And what I'm trying to tell you right now, and what you're kind of disrespecting my friendship energy. I always listen no! to your problems and tribulations. Brad, never. And tribulations, and I'm trying to bring one of mine to you in an honest and forthcoming way. And I feel like you're rejecting that inherently. And I value our friendship so much that I'm going to tell you that straight up. What I'm trying to say is that I rolled down my window and asked by you if they needed help, and then they said that they don't want my help and then i rolled my window up to call my dad because i saw a mutant squirrel bear and then bayou punched my window and now my window shattered um I this guy has the this... most punchable face in the world i just want to punch <laughs> this guy's face hang up the phone kent i don't I want put, i put i put it on mute for a moment hey bud just one second just come and, up, and just in that moment i imagine <sighs> like a little blood like spurts off of like kaya and like it's kind of, <laughs> oh my god oh there are pressing <laughs> concerns here um and unmute Dude, thank you for being honest with me. I appreciate you letting me know. I value key communication and friendship. It's what matters, especially when you speak from the heart about something, when it is the appropriate time. Speaking of which, um, dude, here's the thing. Bayou, who knows what they do, what they're doing? They're probably, it, did the, okay, did the squirrel bear do anything? They work at Ted's taxidermy. Maybe it was a stuffed animal that they were wheeling around. It was just... moving, dude. I saw what I saw. I, I, hey, I don't doubt that it was. I was asking if it was moving enough. Thank you for maybe... validating me. Thank you yeah, for hearing course. me and validating dude, me. Dude, brother, I got you, man. Bradster, right. kings supporting kings. We know. We talk about this at a book club. Absolutely. Um, and so, <laughs> speaking of which, I, I, I was saying, look, maybe Ted's been getting into some like like tech stuff, getting like a, a Robotronics in, like trying to make something happen. You know how Springy's gone missing. He might be trying to do something for the mascot. I don't know, like, dude, it could be a lot of things. And Bayou could have just used that to their advantage to try You're to right. jack you for your phone or something. You oh know? my God. You're right. I was trying to support Bayou thinking that, you know, like even though they dropped out, you know, seniors, we're all in the same class. And I'm trying to help them, but maybe Bayou's changed. Maybe, maybe I have more enemies in this town than I thought. Hey. Brother, when you're at the top, everyone's gonna take a shot at the kings. You're that's goddamn why, right. That's why we got this, Bran. That's why we got kings this. protecting kings. Exactly. Okay, I'll see you later. All right. Here, yeah, one more thing. One more thing, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. I am gonna get all the seniors together without you tonight. So just like that's a that's an L for you. Sorry, I, bud. I, I, you know, I appreciate you letting me know. I'm not gonna have any uh, FOMO about this because uh, I'm gonna. Be and you're stand- sure you can make it back? Dude, it would mean a lot to me if you came. I, look, honestly, I would love to, but. You know how my parents are. They really pushed this visit on me last minute. They want me to consider going into like Stanford's pre-med program. And I'm like, oh, if it's a free trip there and then you won't like keep me from. Go- it's a whole thing. You know how my parents are. You know how rich parents are. Oh, of course. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. 
uh, you know, my dad's secretary is calling me, so I'm going to let you go, dude. But okay. thank you for hearing me out. Thank you for talking me down. My, my energy levels got really high there, and I just wasn't thinking straight. Thank you for hearing me out. No, no, uh, dude. Also, uh, get out of that car when you get a chance and have someone vacuum it, because that glass is not good to sit on for a long term, man. Nah, no, you're right. You're right. All right. I love you, King. I'll talk to you later. Love you, too. Bye, bud. All right, bye. Okay, so uh, Bayou apparently got seen with a squirrel bear, and, like, immediately. Like, immediately. I don't know how that happens so fast. It's as big as a real, I, I look at Kai, it's as big as a real bear. I mean, that's how it happened. Like, it, okay, it, fair. It's, it's really big. <laughs> okay, fair, fair, what, fair, fair. What I don't get is how did, did they actually punch their window out? I, that or did the was... bear punch the window out? No, Bradley said Bayou punched the window out and Honestly, that Bradley doesn't lie, dude. He's not like he'll embellish. He'll say something's other, but like he won't say someone did something that someone else did. He's a very fairly accurate source of information. But we're positive that Bradley didn't get punched in the face because I have in the pool that he gets punched in the face around <laughs> this time. Mm, uh, <laughs> mm, well, I, I look, I have heard he did not get punched in the face. It's just the window. But who knows? Okay. He might be trying to protect himself. You know how toxic masculinity is. I've been reading a lot of bell hooks. It's been really great. Um, the book club. <laughs> <laughs> is Bayou going to be okay meeting us? Or should we call them? Kaya, Kaya, don't even worry about that. Right now, and like we pull up to the, the circle fountain, you need to focus on you. Um, and we need to focus on you getting better. Um, I can text by you to meet us here. We're actually not too far from the abandoned railway. Uh, okay. All right, fine. Okay. Yeah, so you're driving to Zelda Bradbury. We cut now back to Bayou. I think you get the, I think you get friend into the tunnels now without issue. Um, Appreciate that, Katie May. I need a win this month, so. Yeah, and let's, let's try to get you another one. Go ahead and give me another perception check, yeah. bud. My taxes weren't great this month. I just, you know, yeah. <laughs> just kind of one so, thing. Uh, here we go. I'm just sitting here thinking about the time that I actually did punch somebody's window out on accident. Um, I got a nine, nine perception. Um, no. How, I, dude? You maybe the details school. escape you. But you actually notice it's been maybe a hot second since you've been in the tunnels around this area. Any sort of south, no, never eat soggy waffle. In any northwest tunnels are sort of, sorry, I have to do it or else I won't remember. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> towards the, uh, the southwest tunnels, they are all just actually, sorry, the south tunnels in general, besides right by your house, which is on the very edge of the town. Mm -hmm. um, They've all been caved in. You know, I I think that's reasonable since there is a canal that runs through Brightwood Grove. But you know that some of this is recent. You've been around here enough to know that what this has happened fuck? within the last month. Mm, hate this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cool, 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 cool. What are my options? You can still make it to the abandoned railway. You just can't get any more into the center of town. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so I'll have to go above ground for to to meet them at the library. Yeah, that but, that's that, but that's after. Uh, yeah, if you're meeting at the at the library, you can kind of go uh, north and around. If okay. that makes sense. All right. Uh, so I just can't straight shoot it. You can't straight shoot it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it'll just take me a little bit longer to get over there. That's fine. Yeah. Um, and so you pop up at the abandoned railway. Um, and this is a pretty abandoned part of town. You can see off in the distance, the beautiful fenced in immaculate town that is Brightwood Grove in all of its splendor. You see several maypoles up as the celebration of spring. It's very, all the flowers tied around it. It's like midsummer. Um, <laughs> exactly. Um, God, that movie made me so uncomfortable just watching it. I was just and, like, hate that. Absolutely. <laughs> um, go ahead and give me, I know I'm asking you for all of these checks, um, but I'm going to need an Arcana check from you at this point as well. Neat. Excited to fail it. I'm excited to watch <laughs> you, you fail know. it. Here we go. Mr. 20 might be being nice. It's not. Uh, six. It's fine. Cool. I'm not really a magic boy, so the I didn't expect much out of that. You. <laughs> I guess I just oh honestly I guess uh, I just deserve nothing. Uh -huh. Um well by you um 
as you as you come out of this uh, abandoned railway into the into this place, into this abandoned railway, there's like one big central building where this railway seems to end. It comes uh-huh. in from the north of town and then ends here at this abandoned railway station. Um, and you exit outside of it mm-hmm. and you sort of lead. Um, are, are you telling friend to stay in the abandoned railway station itself or go into the woods nearby? Uh, whatever friend is most comfortable with. I and I don't he- mind lowing, rolling low on Arcana anyway, because like Bayou is like just a guy. <laughs> yeah, Bayou is just oh, a yeah. guy. And I think you get the sense and the feeling with kind of the connection that you've developed with sweet friend uh, that they would be, of course, more a bit more comfortable in the wilderness just because they've been trapped in civilization for so long. Hey, friend, you want to you want to hang out in the woods and meet me here in a little bit? Woods. Cool. Uh, you got enough to eat or you like Woods. hungry or, oh, cool. Uh, neat. Uh, when do you, uh, when do you sleep? Woods. Cool. 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 I don't know. What and at that point, friend turns around and starts walking into the woods and it's hard to put your finger on it by you. Solves my problem. But you feel like this magnetic energy sort of emanating from the woods itself. It's sort of like a feeling that settles in your chest, like a dread. It's hard to put a face or a name to it. But as you watch friend disappear into the woods, there's this deep feeling of unease that you are unable to pin that takes over your body. When I feel unease, do I feel it towards the woods, towards friends or towards myself? The woods. Okay. Uh, Do I feel in any way like like can i roll like insight and fe- decipher if i feel in any way like i or friend is in danger go ahead cool it's, yeah go i was gonna say it's a disadvantage because you rolled so low on arcana but i don't need to give you any more don't, else. don't keep punching down yeah that's the <laughs> it's punching down uh four and a ten all right a ten we're at we're double digits Neat. um you feel that this is somewhat of a latent energy an energy, this the, the, though this energy is the first time you notice it, there is an inherent sameness to it that has been there your whole life. Okay. I think that Bayou like looks into the woods and feels like that same like spooky liminal energy that you feel whenever you are staying overnight at like a hospital or it's like 3 a.m. in a hotel and it feels like the the hallway is stretching on into eternity and yeah you like go out to get ice it's that feeling actually, when you're getting ice in a hotel at 3 yeah getting getting ice in a hotel or when you're a black person and you're going to take your trash out at night <laughs> <laughs> also that yeah <laughs> you know what that's like right katie yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Katie. laughs> it's like i won't be I don't a punching know why, bag there's like a weird like culture thing where it's like you like leave the fr- you close the front door and you like look around in the streets like pitch black and like one of the one of like the street lights is flickering and you're just holding a bag of trash your mom's yelling at you from the living room to just hurry up just do it you're right and it's like no but it's scary no there's a killer in that trash can i know this killer and you know that it is so absurd to be scared and well michael myers is not around that corner he's not real but what if I don't know that. Dinner? I get upset whenever, whenever like Serena doesn't lock the door, but she's not home. It's like what? I, I accuse her to kill of, me? Who of does her that? wanting me to get kidnapped. Like every single time. <laughs> 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 it's so funny that your fear is getting kidnapped. Like I'm like, yeah. hey, you didn't lock the door. Am I gonna get kidnapped? Do you what see you- how hot I am? I'm bait, <laughs> Serena. What's going on here? My headphones are on come all the time. Me. There's probably kidnappers <laughs> going door to door, jiggling <laughs> handles, <laughs> going to the next knob, jiggling like, and trying to get in to steal people. <laughs> like jiggling, jiggling the handles, like, ooh, I bet Carlos's hair lives here. <laughs> oh, I bet, I bet there's someone there I can <laughs> fit in this potato sack and throw over my shoulder and run. <laughs> I bet you there's someone someone in there with the shiniest hair. I'm gonna go get him. Hamburglar. Like, <laughs> <laughs> happy meal box. Anyway, um, guys. Uh, so, <laughs> it's so funny. 
All right. <laughs> By you, with this feeling, you head back to start going to the library. Mm, yeah. um, I'm now going to visit the Celeste Fountain in Bradbury Circle. You have pulled out up outside of Zelda Bradbury's apartment. And friendly reminder for everyone, you can go to generationfantasy.com to look at our world building to yeah. find out what we found out about let's Zelda Bradbury that. when we did the world building session. Yeah. Let's look at that. Let's go. Let's go to the iPad and check it out. Let's um, go. Ooh. Yeah, you guys can go to generationfantasy.com and check out all this lore and all the stuff that's happened on previous episodes. So where is this? You're going to click, no, I want to stay in this reality. You're going to go to the Jenkins, Nebraska world building session. Mm -hmm. And then um, Zelda Bradbury's right there, pink with the paintbrush. Um, or you can type Zelda in search. Wait. Oh, I think you have to go back to the page before this where you have to you you click uh, stay in this reality and not go to frame 352 wait what i have to go Just back generation and okay, then for us no stay in this reality oh i want to stay in this reality yeah, yeah you're gonna stay here oh this is, all the, this is all of the out of character things that we've Carlos decided is like, I've gotcha. never seen this oh movie. yeah it wouldn't be on 352 <laughs> that makes sense yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be really so, funny if 352 <laughs> was writing about Zelda Bradbury. <laughs> Especially if if we said if if three fame 52 said about Zelda Bradbury, <laughs> one cigarette a day, 80, and still fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is this? Uh, like okay, so you know, this. world building. Go to world building. World building. Go to world building. Yeah. World building links or Jenkins world building about. Uh. <laughs> this you're gonna go to uh the world building sorry. links yeah yes yeah the the first one underneath that okay and then, cool and, and then, then you'll find and then Celeste. i can just type in zelda right in the search yep yep yep, yep. okay oh she shows up right there look at that she's right there <laughs> resident um, zelda description macy's royal 80 years <laughs> you old. thought there was more than Still that fun. no that's all that's there i really did think that there was gonna be more <laughs> no, um, all we decided about her is that she's enemies with macy she's 80 she still fucks she has one cigarette a day and we gave her the true name of unsanctimonious guardian okay well, now cool. i know more about her as the dm but that's what we all decided during our world building session right 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 and you guys can see all this stuff that they've written on or uh katie may has written on this Look at all this stuff, guys. And also, uh, TK, TK and like, yeah. a lot of people, yeah. <laughs> Ollie Lamb. Yeah, TK Man. does all this session. Like, if you want to go read about our old sessions or if you want to see if you can piece any pieces of my puzzle together yeah. on your own, you can go read all the session notes of what's happened during sessions back there. We kind of we, we try to keep it comprehensive mm -hmm. um, in this house. Um, so, but okay. yes, we are uh, outside of Zelda Bradbury's house. Um, it's actually an apartment. Um, it's a walk up. Uh, you're gonna have to buzz in. Um, I text uh, Bayou that we're here. It, it, that we ditched the library plan that we moved over to this space because hopefully I, I try to get them before they've gone too far towards the library so mm -hmm. that they can get here quicker. Yeah, um, I think I think uh, Bayou, you get that message and you'll be able to meet back up with them when this conversation is done. Cool. Um, and then, all right. Uh, so Bayou knows where we are now. Um, uh, Kaya, you, you feel good enough to? No, you know what? Oh, oh well, let's let's help her up uh, in, to to the steps, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll uh, we'll get out. I'm fr I'm like sort of friends with Zelda, right? Is that what we said? I think so. Zelda would hear Zelda like off like ever since even like when you were a child would hear your theories and like validate them. So if you were ever lurking for someone to like believe you when you said things, Z like Zelda would be like one of the first people who would actually do that for you. Gotcha. Also, Meow Meow lives in her backyard. Yeah. Meow Meow also lives in her backyard. That's where you met Meow Meow. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I think um, we would go right to the back because uh, he wouldn't want anyone to like see us go through the front door. So he would just like help Kaya. Yeah, you could just head up her fire door. escape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's three floors up. Um, she has a nice view, which is like right overlooks the circle. Um, so you head up the back through the fire escape and you are at her back door. It's all of you. Um, and what's like the knock that you always do? Oh, Mo, what's it sound like? Um, oh, that's a good, that's a real good question. Um, I think he does real Morse code. So I think it would be, it would be.
Of course. And of then, course. Co- and then <laughs> covers up and then covers up the uh, eyepiece. Uh, <laughs> Chat, you're also and finding out like eyepiece. us in real time that Carlos knows most. Carlos I really don't. Do I really that. don't. I don't. I don't know most. Oh, oh you God! Totally, I was like, you that, totally that is, I only know SOS though. That's SOS. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. All right. So you you do this SOS in the door. You cover up the thumb hole. <laughs> what a flex! If I knew Morse code. Though. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was gonna like be pissed. Out. I was honestly gonna be pissed. I was like, we gotta get rid of Carlos. Carlos oh. Luna doesn't speak Spanish, knows Morse code, <laughs> and is a failure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so you knock on this door. Um, you hear like l- louder footsteps than you're used to. Ooh. Um, as you oh my camera, uh, yeah. as you walk up to the door, and you can you can like kind of like hear someone trying to look through the peephole, and you're like weird. You know, Zelda would know it was you. Um, and just like as that brief second of doubt like creeps up in your throat um the door swings open and neither of you i would think in this moment particularly wishes to see the other in this moment but on the other side of this door stands margot day Ooh. Shit. so we're all standing Three in a three. row. It's Margo Day. Oh. Hey, Marco, your goons drove a car into Ted's taxidermy, and look what happened to Kaya. We dropped off one of them at the hospital, but now, like, dude, seriously, you gotta get better help. Interesting. Deception check, please. Yeah. Absolutely. That's that's the lie that we said, right? Like publicly, mm-hmm. that was the lie yeah. that we were. Yeah, that's the away. lie you've all decided that's to go the, with. That's the lie that we've decided on. Mm-hmm. Oh baby, please, mm-hmm. please don't uh-huh. let me roll. Please don't let me roll like TK. Give me, don't... give me a win. Give me a win. <laughs> you know what? I'll let you talk. No shit whammies. About no me whammies. Right no whammies. No, no whammies. Oh, this is a twenty-two. Oh, I'll no. fucking allow it, Missy, <laughs> but I'll get you back later. Thank you. I, it's coming. It'll come around. I get it. Um, also, I mean, we have to roast me, so that's still it's still a boundary. Yeah, that's still a agenda. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you see, the Robin like takes you in for a second, and then like no, Rob, uh, Margot Day, thinking of Robin, takes a second and then like rolls her eyes and says, "What has Robin done now?" Look, they're at the hospital. Go look after them. I'm sure you don't want other people knowing. Yeah, and at this point, you see uh, Zelda Bradbury kind of come up behind. Um, Margo at this point and she's just a, as, a, as a friendly looking old lady as always um, you know but she still dresses sharp comfortable but sharp um, she's got Crocs on these are the things you need to know are they in, um, are they in uh, what mode are they in uh, we, we, what do you what do you mean when you ask sports mode sports mode is when it's up around the ankle so you have like all terrain mobility <laughs> you know what oh. I mean what mode of croc Christ. is what you just asked me on the Dungeons how, how and Dragons show we do? How's the croc oh, situated? Okay. Yeah, no, it, the crocs are in sports mode. So thank you for asking. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking. Um, it tells a lot what, about a person. But what is she wearing? Like, I imagine she has, like, those big, like, glasses that are, like, huge that, like, fashion designers wear. Uh, Track suit. Matching. Axonical. Velvet. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, yeah. She's she's looks comfortable as hell. Uh, they are not lightning McQueen Crocs. Thank you for asking. Um, <laughs> and as we as we keep going, um, you see Zelda put a hand uh, on Margot Day's arm and says, "You're gonna want to go to them." And Margot like takes this and like nods, says, "Yeah, okay, I'll get going." Um, Okay, yeah, I'll get going. Uh, Zelda, I'll see you later. And you see Margot just kind of like straighten out her leather jacket and sort of like shake her head as this has created some sort of colossal burden on her shoulder that you are unaware of. And you watch her disappear uh, all down the fire escape. It's I'm, Fire escapes are tight. There's not four of us on here. I imagine we're like inching around. Oh, I think it's like one let... of those like Chicago, like one of the Chicago fire escapes where it's the yeah, little porch build out. Yeah, those back porches. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, um, and at that point, um, 
Zelda's looking at the three of you and she kind of takes you all in and says, Cardin, do that. Are you a healer? Can you like help stop the bleeding or something? Or can I sit down? Come inside, take your shoes off. She will stumble inside. Put like one arm on her, yeah. You help Kaya take her shoes off. Um, First chair or whatever she can sit down on, she's just gonna slump. (laughs) Yeah, and so she lets you all in. She pulls out uh, a, a chair at the kitchen table that you're all in, only for Kaya. Kaya, you sit down. Um, she points at Kent and says, Vanderbilt, stand at the door. Omo, do you want a glass of water, sweetie? Uh, Omo is like almost devastated, I think, in this moment. Like if there is one person that was not included in any of this mess, it's the sweet old lady that he talks to. But like all of a sudden, like, what is now suspect? Uh, So he's just like. (laughs) Yeah, uh, water water would be really cool. Thank you. But is All this right, my you house? She, he's not going to be any help right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you notice, and I think, like, you usually are helpful. And so there's, like, a minute, like, there's, like, a moment where you don't. And then, like, Zelda so says, sweetie, you know where the glasses are. Go ahead and get one for everyone. Mm-hmm. And he, like, does that thing when you're in, like, someone's when you're new in someone's house and you like open a, a, a cupboard and then open another one and like, <laughs> Oh, here they, here they are. And like takes it out and starts setting it up. Uh, I also want to be same like time. looking around the room. Like what, what is, there was no indication that he's ever picked up that like they would even know each other. Well, it kind of lines up. There's a thing that you, there, I think there is like one thing that kind of like rouses suspicion immediately for you. Um, and it's, so as you get these glasses out to fill the water, Zelda Bradbury, she takes the tea kettle and flips it on to start water boiling. And then she takes this tiny little key that sits on her scrunchie on her wrist and she pops it into the cabinet that's right by the oven. And this is her spice cabinet. And she would always joke with you whenever you brought it up. Like, those are my secret spices, kid. You think I would just let anyone look at them? And for the first time, you see her unlock it and start pulling things out. Mm. A, a little mortar and pestle, different uh, like herbs that you can see, different ingredients. She started pulling them out of the cabinet. Uh, he starts like filling up water, hands one to Kaya. Well, waits right next to Kaya and then hands it to, to them. Here you go. And then... Uh... Uh, Kent, water. Uh, we all have water. Okay. Um, I have actual water. Um, um, so you, and then clicks back in. So you can you can help her. Uh, like uh, I, we we thought about the hospital, but you know, like we don't want to get Kai's parents involved, and then you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and then who knows? If Zelda kind of nods serenely and says, you're not the first person without insurance to come to my door. We should be able to do something for her. Y'all want to tell me what actually happened? And she says this very casually. It's not accusatory. It's an offer. You all want to tell me what actually happened? I, I also not like really. to think we, when she said, you're not the first person coming to the door, like 10 minutes earlier, Bradley was like, what the hell? <laughs> 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 I Bradley, just smashed him. <laughs> this is gonna scar. Is this gonna star? It's gonna scar. It's gonna scar. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So, what were you saying, Kaya? Oh, she says not really. Um, or is not wanting to tell anything. I, I think I look at Omo. Um, do, do you do you trust her? Um, I mean, he has no choice to say yes now uh like it, like cause kent, i think kent, kent has been like r- like relegated to stand on like the welcome mat no. and so kent everyone else is kent has just been relegated to standing on the kitchen mat by the door but i think like for kent like this is like this is a real question though now because like we arrived mm-hmm. here because omo vouched for this person and kent yeah. vibed it. we were gonna go to kent's private room at the library like a safe space where we were gonna try to solve it but 
thinking that we couldn't handle it, he trusted Omo. Arriving there, who's the first person that comes out? Margot Day. Is this even so, like someone who is like working to try or is behind something in some way who is hasn't been a friend to all of us in a real capacity? And like, yeah, I think that's, yeah, can we trust her? She's quietly just like grinding in this mortal and pestilence concoction. She hears him though, right? Like she hears. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't flinch or anything. She's very calm about about it all. Then uh, Omo would be like, yeah, of course. Of course we, we, I I trust Zelda, obviously. Okay, good. An adult, thank goodness. Okay, so we were at Taxidermy and then Robin Riley showed up. They uh, attacked me, they punched me in my face. And then there was a whole bit, there was a, uh, they, their goons went in and they were bit by this, by by a by a beast a, 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 a fine a, a squirrel bear a, a, a bear or a squirrel that was irradiated or something made large and it, it was invisible because i can sometimes do magic and then it bit uh the guard and then it came out and then someone came in with a tiefling with a bow and arrow and they shot robin and it was terrifying and then omo you threw a car honey what's what is a tiefling <laughs> i don't know guys I don't know. <laughs> person came in and, and attacked us. Uh, person with horns for if we're on their forehead. And did this to me. The water comes to a boil. You watch her slowly pour the boiling water over this tea, steep it in this beautiful porcelain looking mug, and places it gently in front of you, Kaya. I will sip it. All right. Go ahead and let me, oh, my monitor. My computer got haunted today. (laughs) My monitor literally just cut out for a second. Oh my God. Um, So as you begin to uh, drink this water, go ahead and roll uh, 8d4 plus eight and heal that amount of hit points. Wow. Uh, what, how many how many d4s eight d4 eight. plus Ooh. eight yeah that's huge please don't give me a bunch of ones <laughs> that was so... a 17 okay 17. hey I back mean, up to full four a lot of all twos right. a three and a two you know all right back to full mm-hmm. yeah kaya it, it is immediate you've never seen anything like it there's an inherent power to this that honestly is kind of exciting to you do we watch like her wounds stop bleeding or this, like mm-hmm. it's pretty miraculous kaya so, looks like she never got in the fight to begin with except for all the bloody clothes <laughs> uh so your magic too no oh come on that that, that would have needed stitches that would have needed stitches all you did was see me pull a few spices out of my spice cabinet and make this girl some tea. Omo right. was not expecting magic. He was expecting like, I don't know, maybe some, maybe some like painkillers, some bandages, like some legit some stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe some like, maybe she picked up some stuff from the war. I don't know. <laughs> yes, the war. <laughs> the war. Where are you from? Which the one? War? Granada. <laughs> She's, she's like super old, right? Yeah, yeah. she's probably in like a war at some point. <laughs> uh, he was like, yeah, if he had a guess, maybe he would have thought like maybe in a long shot, like maybe some magic. But like seeing it so blatant, like laid out, he's just like, everyone, everyone does magic. Everyone apparently I will. I've told you once. I will tell you twice. I have not done any magic in this room. Oh, okay. okay uh, but can we maybe I don't know take some of this tea with us? Cumin. Oh, but you can come back if you need it. Okay, fair enough. Well, this is weird. I don't look. I can do this, and I like cast Mage Hand. And, do like, not a... you. You. <laughs> she shoots you like a look. I have oh. a strict no magic rule in this house. Oh, so you know of magic though. You are aware of it. That's that's cool. That's because we found out that that was a thing. I didn't even know you could set a no magic rule Vander in a home. Built? 
You are on blessed ground to be led into this apartment in the first place. Okay, thank you. But is that a literal thing? Is that a, is that a figurative thing? Like, is this ground actually bad? We know nothing! We're operating blind here! Go outside for 10 minutes and come back. Oh, God. <laughs> Time out. Yeah. She just waves like, Ken, away. Ken, 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 walks Ken. outside and like you hear you hear him just muttering to himself walk. You hear, and then you hear his footsteps just like pacing back outside. Um and Kaya Zelda Bradbury pulls up a chair right next to you. And you're like sitting at the table and she kind of pulls it so she's facing you, right? Not the table. And she kind of lowers her voice a bit and she says, honey, you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine now. So this whole no magic thing, is it because they can, they can sense us when we use, I mean, when we do, yeah, when we use magic? It's just that the person who attacked us said something about Oh god, I can't remember what she said. Something about uh, us not or not allowing us to to use magic or we shouldn't have magic and she was there to stop us. Yeah, uh Omo, can you tell me a bit more about this person that attacked you? Um yeah. So, <laughs> wait, I didn't I didn't see this person. Was I already out the door when they no, showed up? You- uh, no, you were there. You, you, were there. You, you were there for a bit of it. Not when they talk, though. Not when they talked, maybe, I don't think. Yeah. I think that... Because um, they were I, I they think were that fighting you were in the, the middle of trying to throw a car in through the door, yeah. uh, probably. Um, so I would just kind of explain. I would just say that, like, oh, yeah, so we were at Ted's Taxidermy. Okay. Um, and and uh, we were getting bullied. No big deal. Get bullied all the time. Uh, but then, like... Things got out of hand. Um, not our fault. 100% looks over at Kaya. Not our fault. Um, then this like Vikings fan comes in or something with like a sword or like a stick or like. A Vikings uh, fan. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Someone with horns. Um, and. Uh, and reddish skin. And generally doesn't look human. Oh, hey, do you know, do you know Portia? I've met her. I heard of her. Okay. Because uh, I sort of turned myself, made myself look like her. I was just hoping to distract. And this person apparently knew her and said what what was her name what's what's uh portia's name anaksha anaksha uh this person called her anaksha and said something about her queen and her queen not being able to help her or something like that at this point zelda kind of like sighs and she like in in this sigh she kind of like like grabs your hand and sort of like a uh comforting grip and says all right kids you've probably seen a lot in the last few hours i'm gonna need you to do a few things next and few of them aren't gonna be easy is that gonna be okay um i mean why why that's a good why do we need to do these things we're a target now or maybe even well there's one more thing kent talked to this person and kent's got like this weird birthmark it's like a moons and stuff and the person had the same symbol was wearing the same symbol and Vanderbilt, you're summoned back in. Hey, honestly, that helped. I, I did cool off a little bit. It's been it's been a rapid day. I just we're looking for some answers, really. It's been one thing after another. You got a mark on you? 
Oh, oh, you you did the debrief. Oh, thank goodness. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole thing. Um, I this it, it doesn't. It's not really magic. Um, she takes your arm and pulls you in so she can look at it. Yeah, with more strength than an eighty-year-old ah! you should have. Jesus, Louise. Okay. Yeah, pulls you in and looks at it and says. All right, this complicates things. Kids? When I made my sword, it had this symbol. And you made that your was sword. Okay. That was weird. And, and Zelda like puts her head down on the desk and takes a second and then looks back up and says, all right, here's what the three of you are gonna do. You're going to stick to your story. The car being driven in. We can call this a U-Town disagreement. Those happen every now and again. I will be able to tell you more about this. Margot Day should be the one to tell you more about this. What? But she needs more time. I need you to give her 48 hours and I need you to keep the rest, to keep you and the rest of the senior class safe during that time. Is that something you think you can do for me? We, do you want us to babysit? From who? Yeah, from who? Is that I mean, woman going to come back? In 48 hours, Marco Day will lay this all out for you in a way, in the least traumatizing way possible. But she needs some time. You're asking us to trust her, the one who handles all the illegitimate business of our town. And sent her goons after us. Yes. She did not send her goons after you. She's looking for the vials. But and yes, she may have told her team to get those vials with in any way possible. And that's on her. She's still a leader. She's growing. I'm just asking for 48 hours from you kids. I mean, sure. But... Okay. Oh, crap. And you can keep this to yourselves for 48 hours. I just need you to still be high school students. You are kids. 48 hours. And then you can be grownups. Yeah, that uh, we can do that for sure. 100% Zelda. Um, is this... Is this a school day like, or is this a weekend? <laughs> it's Friday, right? Like, because of the birthday blow, like, he's no, trying to... No, it's... Fit, it is... Right now, today is Tuesday. Today is okay. Tuesday. Yep. So we just gotta... We gotta go to school. Just play it normal. Go no, we... Home. we. I believe we already went to school. Because uh, we after school... Yeah, we it's went Tuesday out. evening. It's yeah, Tuesday evening. 48 hours. So oh, yeah. Just saying. Sorry, sorry. Okay, maybe we should just... Yeah. Just, just go to school. Mm-hmm get through our classes and then go home. That's going to be really hard. I'll be honest, I'm I uh, I'm trying, but this is this is a lot. Guys, this is so much and I just every way I look, I just get more questions and I write them down. That's what journals are for. Okay, it's going to be it's going to be real easy. Zelda, thank you so much. I'm like picking up uh Kaya and helping uh helping her up. This this is great week. <laughs> 48 hours you got it 100 percent. this is zelda looks you dead in the eyes so much so much says, uh, you're gonna stay out of trouble for 48 hours absolutely we are gonna try our hardest we're gonna lock ourselves uh in a room and we're not gonna come out for 48 hours uh, Ooh, can I roll uh we, we, we gotta but we yeah, gotta watch go the it. other yeah <laughs> Ooh, come on, come on. Come on, oh. come on. S yes. ah, if only you had advantage. Oh, oh. fun. Elmo? Zelda's like, the quiet of the air kind of grows. She takes a long pause. 
If I told you that this was a matter of life and death, would you take me a bit more seriously then? The truth is always a matter of life and death. Okay, but I think she means literally because I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like putting a finger through her body. She, she's like a hole in her chest. <laughs> okay, I think she means literally though. <laughs> All right. I mean it. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, I'm like backing out slowly with everyone out. With I everyone. mean it. Uh, yep. Can I ask maybe one one more small favor? Yeah, darling, what's up? Do you have like a spare t-shirt or something you could give me? Because my clothes are, I can't go home. Like yeah, this. I got something in your mom's. Give me a second. What? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, and she kind of like catches herself and then she turns back to you and slowly says yeah she used to wear it all the time before she gave it to the thrift store I picked it up there okay now now we can tell someone else is lying all right all right you can do an insight check if you'd like <laughs> can I do an insight check Come on, big money. It's oh, an eight. You're rolling so bad. Was <laughs> not fair. Can I roll an inside check? I, I, yeah, I, yeah, anyone I, can roll inside checks. I, anyone anyone, anyone yeah. in this Chili's tonight, except for uh, TK, but they would roll low anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's do this. Um, I don't appreciate this. I got a fourteen. I got a fifteen. Fifteen. This is misogyny. All right, fifteen. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the truth for sure. Yeah. Um, but it was a gentle lie. Um, you can tell it's not one done out of malice. It is one done out of protection. Yeah, like her mom's not like living in the basement. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so she, you see her disappear for a second and then she reappears with like this. Actually, I, Kai, I'm gonna let you tell me what old outfit of your mom's does Zelda Bradbury pull out of her closet? Um, gosh, I think it's like just a really pretty like Fluffy white shirt and um, some like wide leg trousers, just very snappy. Um, has just the right amount of like of uh, pizzazz to it, but not too flamboyant. Yeah, cool. And so she hands it to you, and there is a necklace, a locket sitting on top. Um, and she says, That was your mother's too. Should keep you safe. Do I recognize any of these, especially the locket? Yeah, you've seen the locket and a few pictures of her and your hazy recollection as well. Can I open it? Yeah. What's inside? A baby picture of you. I'll put it on. As weird as it is wearing a picture of myself, but I will go and like change in the other room. <laughs> And while you're going to change, Zelda, her eyes get sterner. She looks at the two boys and she says, you keep that girl safe. Yes, we get it. Kai is the best amongst us. I'm glad we all are in agreement. You Ugh. keep that girl safe. Yes, of course. Uh Fine. Yeah. Why did we, we did a great job of that so far. We did, why, <laughs> yeah, we're really, really nailing it. <laughs> but we did. We did it. You're you're healthy. You're fine. You know. <laughs> I. Fine. Here's the thing, Zelda. A lot of demands. A lot of statements. Last time, all I think I knew about you is that you smoked a cigarette a day. That's all my mother said about and, you. And and I point. I point the cat. <laughs> that other thing that we're that you, not. You nope. Nope. You smoke one cigarette a day. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm so ready for like the built 20 year old cronk to like walk out of her bedroom shirtless. And after just, that, like, also wearing Kaya's mom's shirt. <laughs> just, just as he's older. You birthday clowns! I'm interrupting your bit. So after after this threat and Kai and and uh, Kent is going, you know that you uh, that you 
the chew. And then uh, Kai comes back out and all of you are together. And she says, all right, out of my hair. I got some work to do. And just like that, you were unceremoniously just kicked from her place. You are left on the fire escape of Zelda Bradbury's apartment. And that's where we're going to take our break. Yeah. I like that the muscle guy is like, I don't know. All these photos look pretty straight to me. (laughs) Why don't you pop that shirt off? (laughs) Anyway, we'll be right back. Bye. See ya. Hent, the dragon (laughs) dives the dagger straight into your heart. Mm. And with that, the campaign finishes. Oh, wow. Well, right, good job, everybody. friends. Uh, I am for now anyone, king of Jenkins. For anyone <laughs> wondering, uh, we play a game of Dungeons and Dragons during our break. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we were just <laughs> concluding that. Uh, mm-hmm. Only five yeah, minutes yeah. at a time. So it's, it's... taken years. <laughs> yeah, it's been years <laughs> to get there. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah. Um, so we pick back up. Uh, I think by you, you are at the bottom of the fire escape. You look up and you see. It's, it's very West Side Story. Yes, it's very West Side Story. I, As I've you just see, got like a, a cold bottle of pop. Yep, you got a cold <laughs> bottle of pop. You stopped and grabbed one. I sure and, did. And you see Kaya looking great as ever. Uh, a whole new look, oh, yeah. new fit. Yo, uh, girl. Kent and uh, Omo all emerge from the balcony, all looking <laughs> various levels of confused. Hey, oh. pretty mama, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> you say to all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> Kent wearing this exact outfit. Yeah, <laughs> somehow I had time to change. Leaning <laughs> against the leaning Yeah, you just like slowly balcony. took one of Zelda's scarves and just tied <laughs> yeah. it around yeah. your head while you were talking with her. Yeah, that, um, just, I work? think I think Kaya like uh runs down uh runs down the stairs and like grabs a body by the arm and just like we need to talk now. Yeah. Oh, wow, you look great. Library. Okay, let's uh, yeah. Hey library. library. Oh, we go to the library now? Okay, into the car. Enter the car. We all shuffle down. Oh, speaking of cars, Bayou. I heard you had a car incident today. Oh uh, yeah, that's weird. Do you break Bradley's window? Nope. more important things to talk about no no it's i, I like pull over and i put no it's the principle of it we're <laughs> a group Christ. we share we're honestly and we're, it, 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 how can we try look we just found out someone knows more than us it's about trust guys this I is our circle Kent, are you okay. saying that there's no what? way bradley would have lied i i don't think bradley would lie the chances of bradley lying about by you punching them in their window to escape a scenario of seeing a squirrel bear. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's, come on, guys. Listen, Today, but... our friend, Bayou, says that they did not punch. He starts laughing. You yeah, totally <laughs> punched. Your hand's You're bleeding. Come Look at that. Come on. <laughs> First of all, it's not about denying it. It's about asking, being asked a question that you already know the answer to. Okay, fair. I'll take that. I'll take that ding. You know what? I, I, I I'm nobody's dad here, Good. and I shouldn't you deserve act like it. it. I will turn this car right round, guys. All right. Come on. Let's just We're go. Going. To, let's just go to the library. Oh, well, tell the library. tell your boyfriend next time he wants to tattletale on me that uh, he could just turn right back around and get the other one knocked out. Well, I speaking of boyfriends, uh, all uh, Omo, Kent, and Kaya, your phones buzz in unison. Speaking a group, we all have the same boyfriend? A group chat yeah. has been created. Bradley MacArthur has texted every senior and with the words, all caps, mandatory three exclamation points. The little emoji that's like <laughs> with the with its nose, you know? <laughs> like, and then like three of those and says, we must discuss senior prank exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point 7 p.m confidential. <laughs> confidential 7 p.m roof of school oh, oh. guys how did he get my number what it's, does it say Brad- mine's just a bunch of numbers because i just have a page <laughs> yeah <I know. laughs> Almo, i like toss in my phone i was like yeah okay so we're gonna have to go keep an eye on all the seniors, anyways, because Zelda we asked have us to protect too. them. Oh yeah! By the way, Zelda oh, is gosh. friends with your boss. Oh, he's apparently a good guy, allegedly. Oh. All right. And knows 
stuff about everything that's been going on. Yeah, magic has apparently been around longer than we've thought in Jenkins. Oh, really? You thought that it just got here when you got here? Wow, Ken. Oh, sorry. It's not like I just didn't believe it when it was in front of my eyes for a long time. How okay, how inconvenient Harry. of that. I guess it's not too weird that Margot knew about it. She did send me after the vials. Also, we have to protect the other students for 48 hours. What? We, we have to lay low for 48 Says who? hours. who? Zelda. So Zelda. And then Margot Day will reveal everything to us. Mm-hmm. Can't roll an insight check. Just for me. Just like a special one for me. Okay. Just. Okay. Do we get be... to know what he's inciting? Or. No. Nah. Oh. oh, a natural 20? <laughs> uh, a very pertinent fact kind of like hits in your mind. Margot Day is very good professional friends with your family. Oh, I thought you were about to say Margot Day is very hot. Oh, <laughs> That's I, always to be remembered. I immediately that screech on the brakes. Hot. Okay. <laughs> By you, your head hits the back of the... Every time, every time that there has been like, a, I'll turn this car around. We have to talk about this right now. Let's do the PowerPoint. We forgot to get cine twists. By you has like... Uh, a like a, a, a perpetual lump across their forehead at this point. You're also wearing a seatbelt, which is like surprising. It's not even like you're not wearing a seatbelt. It just keeps happening. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I like pull over to the side and, uh, or actually, you know what? I think uh, Kent doesn't say anything. He makes this realization and it's like, before he even knows it, they're at the library. He spends the rest of the d- drive in completely silence. And he's it's just, just like, like cut off mid sentence. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. He's just his gears are turning in a way. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys want to chat for the rest of the ride, like I'm, yeah, um, yeah. Do y'all get by you caught up on what happened? Yeah, I think uh, an almost take is like Zelda Bradbury is not to be trusted. Like now, <laughs> suspect now just made a suspect list. Also. Zelda Bradbury probably knows a lot about me. And if they are in cahoots in any way, is probably using it against me. They know my good nature. And okay, hear me out. Maybe they knew I would jump at an opportunity to protect everyone. So they're just trying to reverse psychologize me. Almost. Into saving everyone. I was expecting everyone to jump in at that point. Yeah, no, I understand. It's just that we're not really sure if you're like doing an internal monologue out loud or if you were expecting us to contribute to it. I don't know. I just started talking. You guys got really silent. So I figured I could just. Well, we were just really invested. Yeah. Well, I mean, did I sell you on that? I mean, no one's disagreeing with me, right? Like, I mean, you weren't there. You're right. You weren't there, Kaya. It was weird, right? Kaya is fiddling with the locket. They, okay. So, Bayou, see the, see the. Oh, now you want my, okay. Yeah, do you, starts like pointing at like, you know, like a locket. And she's like. Yeah, uh, it's costume jewelry. No, it's not costume jewelry. Oh, sorry. Jesus Christ. This is my mom's. Oh. uh... As well as this outfit that. Zelda just had. Have I ever seen her mom wear this? Have you met? We were childhood Uh, friends. Yeah, we were childhood friends. We've known each other a while. Then yeah, you would have. Do I recognize the locket? Is it something that she wore a lot? She wore it daily. Daily? Kind of weird, right, Bayou? Uh, yeah. I guess, I mean... Kaya, I just remember your mom dressing real nice, and sometimes people get rid of stuff that's out of style, you know? She probably, when she moved, you know? I just don't want you to get your hopes up for something. Look. Yeah, that totally sounds like her. No, I I mean, yeah, of course, it sounds shitty when you say it out loud. I just don't want you to get your hopes up for something that might not happen, you know? Sometimes... Sometimes people just leave. Yeah. No, you're right. They do. <clears throat> yeah. 
Okay, but back to Zelda. Very quiet backseat. No, and then we like, I think <laughs> Ken chimes in. Issues with their parents. No, they're like, in silence. <laughs> I think I have Emma Ken chimes in and says, well, I think it's clear that our parents have been keeping something from us. Maybe yours has. No, indeed mine have. Margot works with my parents. If Margot's magic, if Margot is controlling what's happening and is taking care of things, I sincerely doubt that they didn't know. You gonna Everyone take out your own house? Is a suspect. No, no, I think we're having a breakthrough here. I think that somebody is realizing that his parents aren't like the benevolent gods that he always thought they were. Oh, okay. You this have no is idea. Incredible. Hey, hey, Bayou, you have what? no idea what my life's what like, all right? You can you can you can hush moment. it right now. They are what not gods. What a beautiful gods. moment. They're bullies, something you would recognize. Ugh, bullies. Kent gets out of the car and walks into the library. Aren't you driving? No, we got no, we pulled up. Oh, to the we're pulled up. up. We're yeah. in the... oh, yeah. Uh, Ken almost... gets out of the car <laughs> while it is in motion. Yes, we're at a stoplight. That's light. how mad he is. <laughs> he just yeah. gets out. I hate this say. Prius. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm below me anyway. I'm always driving. <laughs> um, oh, why am I the driver? driver? He's getting, like, they are handing him a Baja Blast freeze, and he just opens the driver's door, grabs the Baja Blast, drops it on the ground, walks <laughs> across the street and into the sunset. Uh, uh, Omo like slams uh, the car, gets out, slams the car door, and like runs in front of them all. And he's like, "Okay, hear me out. We're the only ones that we can trust right now." Oh, hey guys! Chase Becker <laughs> is walking into the library with his backpack slung over his shoulder. Says, "I don't think I've ever seen the four of you hanging out." Uh, Chase Becker, for the audience, is one of the seniors of Spring Summit High. Nice guy, super friendly, a uh, bit bit shyer. Uh, is probably out of this group. Uh, um, you, I think that Bayou was friends with them before they dropped out, and I think that um, if there's like a class assignment, Kaya, you'll probably you would probably work maybe a bit with Chase because Chase is one of the ones of the seniors that you can actually trust to do their half of the assignment. <laughs> um, and he's uh, just he's just like totally like, hey. Hey, what's the chase? Ace, We're having Ace a discussion. Please. Uh, uh oh, Omo hates oh? Chase, by the way. Uh he, he's <laughs> he's the because they're the opposite of Omo. Like they're school they're news flowery. reporter. They write yeah. like they don't write facts. They they like embellish things. Like they are super sweet and like you know, yeah, Chase believes that there's an inherent beauty to prose that you absolutely despise. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's, yeah. No. Sorry, Chase, we're, we're working on, like, a group project. Oh. And then at that point, <laughs> Chase looks at Bayou, who has dropped out, and is like, no, I get it. Uh, I'll see you all later when we have the senior hangout then. Right. And kind of, like, nods and slump shoulders kind of walks off. <sighs> Bayou like what is your eye like yeah dude Bayou's like gaze lingers for a second as Chase leaves and but doesn't say anything. It's just like cool bye. What is your problem, Omo? The Chase doesn't do anything. Oh Chase doesn't do anything. Chase doesn't do anything. Are you kidding me? The way he writes okay hear me out. The way that Don't guy read it don't Guys, everyone have, reads it. We okay? have bigger problems, okay? We have bigger <laughs> problems than Chase, right? Yes. Anyway, Let's... my big speech. <clears throat> We're all we have right now. Oh, he like looks over his shoulder. We're Are messed up my flow. Room? Messed up my freaking <laughs> flow. Kicks open the door to the library. He's just so angry. <laughs> just like goes right to the room. Uh the Vanderbilt, the, the Vanderbilt fart room. Yeah. Fart <laughs> Definitely no one farts in there. Yeah. Uh, you are all, now you all are, cool. you quietly walk through the library with like tensions and like all this high, you are all like purposefully being very quiet. And then you all get back into the room and decently soundproof room too. So you know you have some good privacy here. 
Okay, it, what time is it right now in the it, for our world? It is like 6.02. Okay, guys, we have to be at school in like an hour, so we don't even have much time here. But Wait, it's 6.02 a.m.? P.M. P.M. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and then uh, Bradley Sorry. sent the text, meet me at the roof, 7 p.m. senior prank. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Can you, uh, uh, yeah. We don't have to go to that. No, we do. Zelda said we have to keep an eye on everyone. And if they're doing something of a senior prank, if they're out in public, this could be a setup. Even more so for us to go there. Do you think any of them could handle that woman? What if they're They're, in on it, man? They're 18 years old. They'll be fine. No, they'll die. Like, yes. like how Robin Riley almost died. Like how I almost died. Yes. And also, I'm magic. Yeah. Also, if we need any further proof that Zelda is powerful, Kaya's fine now. Didn't need any stitches. Didn't need any sort they of. They like... were literally hanging out with the person that sent them. This is Kaya's blood. It's like still on Kent's face. This, this is Kaya's blood, and now Kaya, like Kaya's wipe fine. That off. Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay, Kent. fine. We all sat in Kaya's blood in the back seat. Yes. Uh, actually, that was mostly um, Robin's blood. But okay. oh, nice. Cool. Oh, cool. well, at least it's not yours. But What's you fine? shouldn't be walking around like this. You should be woozy. You should have a headache from blood loss. But you're fine. Who else? Who else has power like that? Uh, super villains. Right. I don't know. I'm trying to run through the list of supervillains in my head, and I can't think of too many with healing powers. The first ones for free. They always get you hooked, <laughs> and then they, oh you, they, they 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 try to. Oh, they, are you saying you're not curious? Well, I'm just saying that healing isn't in, like inherently benevolent when it comes to comic book writing. So, I, but if we're gonna look at tropes, look at the other side. Portia just shows up, and she mind controls us. Right? Like, I uh, truly, mind control feels evil. That's just evil. See, you keep thinking that all these events are separate. I'm saying they're all connected. You're right. They could all be connected, and then none of them Which is Which is why good. we should go. Maybe they're all but shitty. Brad- Bradley MacArthur, he's the one putting together the whole thing, right? Yeah. And didn't he have a vial in his stash? Do we have any proof that any of the other seniors are even in danger? I'm just saying, if Brad and Bradley MacArthur has something to do with this, maybe we should go and just see what he's up to. By who we get, you probably don't want to be seen oh, God. right now by him, so you can maybe watch from the prettiest if you want to watch Guard or something. The rest of us can go up to the roof. Or you could just disguise yourself. Or I could just go. What the hell's he going to do? Or that, too. Just drive him. Well... Well, all right, all right. Okay, Bayou, seriously, we're in the room. What's the deal? What's the deal? Uh, Omo, Omo hates that we keep arguing with each other. I'm going to go up to the front desk and try to find the microfiche for the, uh, why, 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 we're, why we're here, right? Like to find yeah, the yeah, microfiche yeah. with the well, cemetery can... or uh, the statues, right? Yep. He's like, oh. Walks out the door, closes it, probably sees Chase. Oh, goes right to the <laughs> Finally <front> working. <laughs> um, all right, you you leave the room. Kaya, Kent, Bayou, let's stay here. Okay. Yeah, uh, Bayou actually is like full of glass punching adrenaline <laughs> and like stands up all five foot five cinder block of a body and like puts both hands on the desk do you do you really want to know or do you just want to know that it's not you is this something that you actually want to fix or do you just want to be absolved honestly Bayou I just want this to stop so whatever gets this to stop whatever this Mm. sanctimonious judgmental like what are you even standing on look at all the syllables that you can afford oh maybe if you stayed in school you might have learned some more (gasps) maybe if my parents hadn't vanished i could have stayed in schools maybe if your parents had paid my parents pension i could have stayed in school 
Kent is speechless. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, was that not <laughs> something that your parents talked to you about? Was that part of the things that they didn't tell you, Kent? Was that a secret that mom and dad kept from you? Because the last time we talked about this, you and I, Kent, you told me your parents tell you everything. And I told you, don't ask them. And what was the first thing you did? When you told me that you would not ask your parents about where my parents' pension was. So try me to do a favor. I asked them because if anyone had it wrong, it would have been not them. Don't do me any fucking favors. And uh, buy you leaves. Kent and uh, Kaya, you are the two who are made in the Vanderbilt library room. It's the worst thing is, it smells like farts. It totally <laughs> smells like farts in here. It kind I of just... does. <laughs> Kaya goes and cracks open a window. <laughs> Can you do just... some digging on your parents? Or are you... Uh, sorry. I feel like I have to do nothing but digging on my parents. I feel but like I mean actual digging, not not just going straight to them and asking them and, and trusting them. No, it's it's clear I've been trusting the wrong people. That's rough. Cinnamon <sighs> well, twist. <sighs> Yeah, 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 Taco Bell. Just like, uh, just like, uh, <laughs> you just like uh, sip the Baja Blast. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Taco Bell sponsor us already, dude. What get are you doing, Taco Bell? It's like, like all y'all are drinking like <laughs> Taco Bell sodas and eating the Cinequest. And Bayou's like standing around in the hallway, like I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. God, <laughs> yeah, you just left the room. Like I'm gonna have to fucking go back in there. I left my phone. <laughs> Shit. Uh, there's a read to succeed sign sponsored by Taco Bell. Like we're right about, right about that. That's really old, so it still is the Taco Bell Chihuahua. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, and not only that, it, like at the bottom, it's like get your library card signed three times and get a free yeah, it's like one of those taco. Things. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but it's okay. all it's all uh digital now, so mm -hmm. you don't even get signed like lot library cards anymore. <laughs> So are you specifically, uh, I'm going to hop on over to you, uh, Omo, uh, when it comes to information you are seeking about the graveyard, uh, what specifically are you seeking? Are you looking for the history of it, the ground layout of it? Like what information are you trying to collect? So I want to find um, the statues. So these statues are missing, right? I wanna, yes. I want to know... Uh, who the statues belong to if you're in a cemetery they belong to somebody right yeah. um i want to figure out who that is and that's probably from either like some type of looking to see if there was like they weren't all in the same place right they were like scattered throughout the cemetery yeah so i think that you like look around for it and you're able to sort of like you know, you pull the floor plan layout and then you pull like the obituary list and then you pull like um, like the, you can kind of like, you use one of the computers to pull up the website about buying plots. And with all of this, you are able to start trying to pull this information together. Go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Cool. Investigation. <sighs> Seven. Seven. Everybody's statue that got stolen. If you put all the letters together and then move the words around, it does spell out the howling moon comes closer. Mother. So 
you're pretty sure you're on to something here. Man, he would get sucked into anagrams so fast. <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh. And I think I, and I, because I'll tell you, like, I'll tell you as a player, the, like, <laughs> these were chosen indiscriminately. These, it was like the statues, the, y you, you, I think you could did an investigation check where you put it together. Or you do, it's the number that holds some significance to you. Um, I'll tell you as a player, that is not, uh, it's not a lead, but anything, almost, yeah. sure, sh almost sure does sure. feel it is. Uh, if he if he has time, if he feels like, man, whew, uh, pay dirt, I am like moving yeah. fast on this. Uh, I want to I think at that point, that's when you notice Bayou like slam the door shut and walk out of the. <laughs> I think that if if Omo sees Bayou and Bayou doesn't see Omo, uh, Omo will see like Bayou slam the door like do this with their hands a couple of times just like flexing their fingers into a fist and not and then there's like a heave of shoulders and a cough like a like a suspicious cough <laughs> and uh, then they go straight to the bathroom um yeah then i think i was like oh crap uh but he's already above schedule like he's like gotta check up on bayou but also kind of like ahead of schedule like man i already piece this Fuck yeah, world's best detective. Uh, and I Active think, character case. <laughs> I think like he's gonna let that simmer for a second, and he thinks about like, uh, but then wants to put in one more thing for the librarian to look up. Uh, I want the oldest records that they have on Zelda Bradbury. Um, I want like has has Zelda Zelda's been in this town for forever huge staple what are the first articles on Zelda Bradbury that's what I want them to look up um I will give you one more investigation oh, check okay. and this one is important oh wow okay cool I also is Chase running the front desk or is uh, no Chase doesn't work here Chase oh, is just okay. studying here Okay, I was about to say, because that would be another reason why Oma would want to leave. Like, oh, I got to talk to Chase every time I got to put in for something. <laughs> no, and he's probably one good. of these people that takes a little bit longer. Like, so what, we, what are we looking up? Zelda Bradbury. <laughs> <laughs> why? And then you have to explain it. Yeah. And you're like, please just give me what I, I love want. the idea that, like, every time Oma would, uh, like, try to find reasons why Chase could be in the conspiracy. Like he's intentionally hiding resources oh, yeah. from me, but then like, he's like, he's trying to find a reason to dislike him more. <laughs> but then like, by the end of the time, he's like, no, he's not. He's too dumb to be a lackey, to be a mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way anyone would follow this. <laughs> like, it's kind of like when you, when you don't really like somebody and you like, got to give yourself a reason, but then you're like, Fuck, I don't have a reason. I I'm the problem. Like yeah. 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 <laughs> like, it's like I'm the I'm just a jerk. They're just nice. Maybe, maybe uh, I'm a investigation, dick. right? Let's mm -hmm. do this. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. So 17. 17. Give me, oh, you got give, give me give that. me something good on Zelda. Elmo. Yeah. You find an old announcement announcing the wedding day between Kuma and Kaya's mother. And in it, it says, Kaya's mother, whose name I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't, I haven't asked Solani about it yet. Uh, It says, Kaya's mother will be walked down the aisle by her mother, Zelda Bradbury. Oh, no! No! What? Oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that, but I also hate the fact that we were just talking about Kaya's grandmother and how she's 80 years old and still fucks. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that has one cigarette a day. Also Actually, you know what? I said I hate it. I don't. I'm good with it. What's it called? Oh. And now, now <laughs> she was like, oh, pr you protect that girl. I was like, yeah, well, oh, who's going to protect no. us? Yeah. What a moral dilemma for Omo right now because... <laughs> Telling Kaya this means 
they might be less suspicious of Zelda. So if he, I know if he actually tells <laughs> Kaya this, like, I feel like Kaya is now the only person that kind of believes Zomo. Like we should be suspicious of Zelda. But if I say like, this is your grandmother or poof. Okay. Could I offer, uh, offer something? Are you, are you like, I, may, does it cross Omo's mind that like Kaya doesn't know that this like is isn't that something to worth like to value the deception like there's deception being played already and you know the truth like oh so like maybe that's a reason for the distrust like did you know she was keeping that the fact that she was your grandmother from you like sort of like what else could she be hiding right like that's true huh He's in a huff as he walks. Yeah. Like, he's walking out going like this now with his hands. <laughs> like, kicks the door open, uh, goes to see Bayou. Now, what he, the original plan was to be somewhat consoling uh, mm -hmm. or perform consoling. But now you are. It's, it is, you yes. have more important information. Now he's just like, ugh. Kaya's uh, mom's name is Soraya. Soraya, will you put that in chat for me? What a dope name. It's yeah. a great name. It's a good name. Uh, are Kuma, you... Soraya, and Kaya. Great names. <laughs> are you sitting on like, are, are you sitting somewhere by you or are you outside pacing or wait, what are you doing? By you is in the public bathroom. Oh, you're in the public bathroom? Yeah, I think that, I think that Omo would see by you go to the bathroom. There are like three gender neutral stall, like gender neutral bathrooms and only one of them is occupied right now and you like saw the one that Oh, they're singles. Into. They're singles. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, I would just like bang on it and like lean against the door. Be like, I'm waiting out here. What are they doing in there? Uh, you hear like a very like hurried like sniffling, and Aww. like the the toilet paper roll like go like three times and then a flush, and uh. uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, no, nah, they're just, uh, uh, they're just, they're just arguing about books or something on the other side of the door. Cool. 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 Uh, he doesn't pick up on like, he would never think in a million years by, <laughs> cool. by like crying in, in there. Cool. He, he Good is, talk. He's cool. trying to be like Baja Blast got yet. Like, but he's also, he can see, he can read what they look like when they went in there. So they mean business. So he's like, so couple things happened. Yeah. In my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> switches gears back to himself. Um, it's like, so are you there? Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the tinny echo of a single stall. <laughs> it's just like, oh, yep. What what did I think the anagram was? Something about howling. Oh, the howling moons uh, grow ever closer. That's got to be way too many words, right? And there's it's eleven names. It's Katie eleven May, you names. You did as hell. Yeah. The howling moon draws closer. We'll just I'll type it in chat. So okay. Okay. Bless you. So does that ring a bell? Uh, honestly, nah. Like, if I if I'm gonna be honest, um, can you like do me a super big favor? Yeah, what do you and, need? Um, could you like give me some space for like fifteen minutes? Okay, yeah, no problem. Cool. See tap, tap, you then. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just like, look, I'm like mid cry, and I'm like, I just gotta wrap this up, and I'll be so much more present. Like, <laughs> so well, by you is mid cry. Uh, Oma, where are you going? Uh, I guess I think I start like heading back to find some more if info. Uh, but then he's like, ah, just head back to the room, uh, and then like. Turns on my turns on a heel and then heads back to the Vanderbilt fart room. Um, yep. Yeah. And I think like Kai and I in the meantime like have been in the room and it's it's just I just I don't know I've never been able to I nothing's ever been good enough and so I've always felt like I've had to prove something and so that's why you're like that. 
and your dad loves you unconditionally, and so you have no insecurities, and so that's why you're like that. We we uh, see it. What? Whatever. But she keeps fiddling with her locket. I love that he phrased it like an insult. <laughs> you, you have, have no trauma. You. Great, terrific. Yeah, like one of those things. Um, yeah, whatever. But, sorry. It, what time but, is that? That senior party? It's at seven. It's in yeah. like thirty-seven minutes. It's like there, and we, we should we should go. But it's like across the street. It's not very far away. But it just feels different. Like your dad roots for you. Yeah. No one, no one roots for me. Uh, never mind. Either way, I got to find out more information about my dad. You got to find out more information. And about your, your mom. mom. Yeah, yeah. My dad and my mom, both my parents, they're up to no goods because whatever. But. We should go collect Omo. See if he found anything. Yeah, he'll probably. He'll be back with stuff. He slams a card on the table. The howling moon draws closer, fools. And I'm like, gonna... slides it over. <laughs> Can I make an what intelligence save on this like, to prevent my head from hurting? <laughs> my intelligence saving throw to see if you believe that this theory has legs. Because yeah, Ken, Ken might fall for it. Ken, if, like, right, if, right, 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 if right. If comes in hard enough on it, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So 21, I'll be honest, I've been fooling, rolling very well tonight. and I You have, it, you have. Yeah. yeah, for every for every loss of TKs you've taken You don't have win. to keep bringing it up. We all <laughs> I, it's the first it. time I mentioned it. I'm, I'm not talking to you, Masood. It's not all about you. Um. Yeah, no, you're, you, this is a bit of a stretch. And then you notice that, like, you're, mm -hmm. like, double checking Omo's work. And Omo, like, missed two letters anyways. Hey, bud. Great effort. Great effort. I'm just gonna tell you, you missed the X and Y. There's like two of them. The X and okay, Mooney, the Howley Mooney, uh, um, Yos Los Loser Loser Draws. Yeah, you sit on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how 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 the how moon. Was there anything? Was there anything else? What does else? this mean? Yeah, what, what, are these just the names that you're trying to get together? What's the Howling Moon? Wait, guys, I don't know, but it sounds like something. It sounds like it sounds like a. It sounds like a plan that someone. It sounds like the title of a of a fiendish plan that someone would. Well, why would someone's plan involve eleven statues? Eleven is like a weird number. It's not ten. It's not clean. It's not thirteen or eerie. Like it's not like there's nothing in it. The only thing that has eleven is our grad. Is a grab what? Is our graduating class? Okay. Who are all going to be on the roof tonight? We really have to keep an eye on them. We really, we really. Let's have just to go put it on them. the list. Let's put it on the list of things we need to What's do. What's the moon phase tonight? I assume Kaya would know. Um, yeah. Um, you know that, you know, it's a waxing gibbous this evening, but you did hear on the announcement that there is going to be a meteor binge tonight. There is going to be a meteor shower tonight. Binge tower, whatever. I don't know. What's the difference? And so the graduating class um, has Kent, Omo, and Kaya. Mm -hmm. Kent, Omo, Kaya, Sunny, Chase, Tessa, and Leroy, mm -hmm. and Brad. <laughs> Holly got Holly got held back, and Ronald and Bayou both dropped out. And then there's eleven. And then there's eleven. I think like it, Kent like starts drawing the list. It, it might not be like our seniors proper, but it's everyone who's turning eight, who turned eighteen, or is turning eighteen this year. Roll a history check. Ba, 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 ba. Are we all about to be sacrificed? Twelve. All right. Since this is your best friend, you would know. Bradley is the last one of you that needs to turn 18. 
Oh shit! Um, what is that? What does that make him a Gemini? Because his birthday is in like May. Sure. Yeah. No, I'm a Taurus. Oh, so you can be a Taurus. You can yeah. be a Taurus. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. How close is it to the end of school? Um, so it's actually April, and you all are graduating in April. You're doing it like a little bit early. He's a Taurus. Okay. Um, it is on this day. It is April third, Tuesday, April third. Oh, he's Brad's Aries. birthday blowout oh. is on April twenty eighth. And then Taurus. you graduate on the thirtieth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's Taurus. He's the last birthday of the year. He's the last one who turns eighteen. Holly's already eighteen, and like, he's the last one. Does that does that mean anything? Does that matter? Does is it something? It does it matter? Wait, his, birth his birthday is how many days from now? 25 asking me to do math oh no no no, no. Yeah, so it's it's, yeah, it's over it's 48 days, hours right? it's over yeah, 48 it's hours okay no okay but this must have some might have something to do with the meteor shower day maybe but i mean i agree so there's something spooky or eerie might happen especially with all of them gathered in the same place it feels if it isn't a trap omo someone could make it a trap Okay. Hear me out. It's a trap for us. They are bait to get us there. Y yeah, but if we don't go, then they'll have them anyways, right? Whoever they, they already, is. If they do, they already have them. Then they would just have us. Zelda said that we had to protect our classmates. I do not. Tr we should not trust Zelda. That's something we shouldn't be doing. Yeah, I mean, I don't trust her, but I do. But she did heal me. And if she was trying to hurt us, she could have just. Zelda's hurting a lot of people. How do you know? You don't even know what she's up to. I'm just saying, are you not curious? <sighs> I mean, I'm so Kaya, curious. You, you found the answer to this puzzle. 11 statues, 11 people in our graduating class, and all of them are going to be on the roof. Assuming that Henry or Ma McRonald decides to go. And Bayou, where's, where's Bayou? Oh, she's dropping the Vanderbilts off at the spa. Ugh. Oh, okay. They, they don't need to do it that way. Do they say that? They they shout that out of the bat? No, we all say that. <laughs> oh, got it. Literally Wait, everyone. who was the sh Oh, oh, okay. I see what's happening. Yeah. Okay. Dropping the Vanderbilts uh, off at the spa. Come on. That's funny. That's good. That's good. That's uh, funny. I think, I think Kent looks <laughs> over and says, uh, but you know, Kaya, you know, almost right. We can't trust Zelda. You should, they were interested in you maybe, and they clearly have some sort of connection to your mom. Maybe you could kind of snoop around and figure out some more about them and use that to your advantage and then tell us. Yeah, sure. I mean, I guess I could ask my dad. I could call my mom and well, assuming that she actually answers. But are we going to go to this roof or not? <sighs> we, Well, as soon as Bayou gets here, we can make our way. Yeah, Bayou strolls in not too long after. Yeah, we're playing by CW rules. All timing is <laughs> uncanny. Yeah. yeah. It, is, it is at this point that Bayou walks in. Bayou, we're, oh. hey. we're heading to the high school. Do Bayou you absolutely it? smells like smoke. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, they're... The 11 statues, there's 11 18 year olds. Um, and we should keep an eye on them if we're going to get any answers in 48 hours, right? All right. If you think we should babysit, then I guess we will. It, it matters what everyone thinks, but I appreciate that. I see silence. <laughs> um, Kent, is there any, like, I don't know special weapons around that your parents hid in this library that they paid for what 
Look, I'm my fam saying... my family does antiquing stuff, but none of the mm -hmm. good stuff's here at the library. What and about nothing the old muskets I'm just on asking, the second floor? There could be, there yeah. could be something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, oh, you mean the, the gintas in the Eastern <laughs> Asian section? Oh, yeah. we should just grab a bunch of those. <laughs> we all yeah. thought it was appropriation, we but you know what? It might come in handy now. It might come in handy now. <laughs> <laughs> they're not ours saying. to use, but they're certainly not the libraries to keep. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, uh, we don't know what we're going into. This is yes. why Bayou doesn't want to hang and, out with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, if we're in danger, we need something to protect ourselves. Well, at least, I mean, Bayou could use something. Omo, hi, Bayou uh, has been stuff? carrying no. around a machete. Yeah, <laughs> you really? Just have okay. had a machete. I, or, or. Or just it's in probably the in the Prius. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah. Also, what's it called? Uh, almost got his uh, police baton that just like yeah, whoo, yeah, yeah comes. baton. God, listen. If I, we're going, if we're going to this thing, mm -hmm. like keep your eyes peeled. Don't let your guard down. Yeah. Throw the first punch. And Kaya, I. I guess I can manifest a sword when I want now. Um. So. What the here yeah you guys saw that um i know here's... but it was crazy then it's crazy now yeah it's still, still weird still Super weird weird Ooh. this has been a terrible 72 hours um and i take a the this is um i got this dagger a while ago apparently it was my granddad's don't lose it keep yourself safe uh and i hand it to what kyle fuck? what did you what did you hand me uh the dagger that i usually dagger. keep on me yeah um well i had a dagger to thanks. kyle's inventory yeah Okay, I kick the door open. Dagger now. Cool. I All right, like, so I you like guys we should say something. What 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 do we do? We have a team name. I feel like we need a team name. I'm like trying to unlock the door to the Prius. <laughs> Kat, can you get this? Can you get, hit yeah, the button. dude. I'm hit to the get on the other side. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> what, yeah. what what do you guys think that our team name should be? Close the door. I'm sorry. Why do we need a team name? I don't know. It just seems like we should go by something, right? Well, it just feels like if we're doing our job right, nobody will know about us and nobody will talk about us. But, like, they might. They might talk about, like, this thing happened and it's, like, I just feel like we should get ahead of it, right? No? Well, if we was, like, a marketing team, sure, but we're not. We're more like vigilantes and I don't want to go to jail. Okay, I got one known name. Uh, what do we got up in the front? <laughs> <laughs> he like leans forward. What do we got yeah. in the front seat? Uh... <laughs> DM, does this count as a short rest this time that we've spent in the library? Sure, we I'll got, give it to No, you. no, we definitely we got here yeah, at six oh two, and at seven, that's over. That's basically an hour. That's like thirty. Yeah, minutes. that's basically an hour. Yeah, I'll give yeah. it to you. Six. Katie it's fifty eight minutes. Come on, Katie May, but I... through my goodwill, not through logic. Katie May, I cried in the bathroom for an hour. I <laughs> <Does that count laughs> yeah. The oh. more you cry, actually, the more it counts towards a short rest, emotional <laughs> healing. So, oh yeah. Thank that's you. that's Dungeons and Dragons science, baby. Uh, <laughs> all right, it's more you guys like running from my trauma, but I'll take it. That's <laughs> the same thing in Dungeons and Dragons, baby. Um, trauma. we're <laughs> going to head now to the map, uh, school rooftop. If you want to join me over there, oh, there's Ooh. a you did a, a school rooftop map specifically. <gasps> oh, yeah, let's head on yes. over. Let's make sure that everybody's on this map because I forgot to place all the silly dang right. Oh, school rooftop right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so we've got Chase. We've got Sunny. Let, let me make sure I got all the seniors accounted for. Chase, Sunny, Leroy. Uh, Holly's not here. Get off the fucking page, Holly. I like that it's not a flat Bradley. rooftop. It's an yeah. actual, like, like, <laughs> like, <Yeah>. like steeple. <laughs> you can, like, fall off. Man. Yeah, it is a steeple, but there's a small little balcony thing uh, that like is like over the thing, and that's where you all hang out. Your tokens are way smaller than, uh, way bigger than they should be. You all are more like uh, this size. Haven't y'all ever sat on a peak group before? Yeah, not with like eleven no. people. <laughs> <laughs> I've never held a council actually, on like, a steep roof. Yeah, we still need Tessa. And Tess is the only other senior who's not there, right? Mm -hmm. 
Um, all right, let me pull Tessa onto the map. And I guess um, that one kid that we don't care about. What's Henry the name? McDonald has not been invited. Yeah, Henry's not there, so I don't that's... know how we're going to keep him safe. Anyway, well, that's fuck weird because that wasn't Brad. Well, I guess he's not a senior, so Bradley wouldn't have invited him. But yeah, he's on Bradley's was payroll, not a... right? How small we... is Tessa Bloom? I can't get her to be the same size as everyone else. I'm freaking out. It's like oh, she's too big or too small. <laughs> Carlos, well, will you fix it? Yeah. I'm so Some sad. Decimals in there. You, you just hold all. You just hold all. Okay, I don't know why we had to respond that way. <laughs> Sorry, I got emotional first. This is a snarky episode, you know. It's, it's... Um, I just had a lot of. I just got called back to the trauma to the time I accidentally spelled win Wednesday wrong on the board at school, and everyone made fun of me in front oh, of the whole no. class, and I was traumatized. And you brought up my trauma. When, but Wednesday's a stupid word, right? We can. It all is. Agree it is that. a stupid word. Wednesday. 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 When I got in trouble game? with the teacher because when I turned to the guy who corrected me and went, eat me. <laughs> that's so that's what you, what what you got in trouble for. It wasn't that you misspelled. Great. It's because you told another kid. No, but I got made fun of by the class. Oh, and that's okay. what I was saying, eat me? Or How no, or get spelling witness day wrong. I was in seventh grade. <laughs> You're not a you kid. Not oh, well, okay. I was going to say you're not a kid, but like legally you are. Yeah, definitely still in the yeah. kid zone. I mean, great, yeah. great school is a kid. <laughs> like, okay. Middle school is a kid. High well, I'm just saying yeah. that like seventh grade, it's like that's 12 years old. Eat me is a reasonable response. Oh, yeah, that is a reasonable that's fair. response. Eat my shorts. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to like a seven year old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Seven year old being like, I swear to God, if, if a second grader turned around like <laughs> after I like laughed at them or or something it was like eat me i'd be like fuck yeah. man i think i owe this kid money I don't yeah. know. dude what's what's your home shit. life like you good? Like, <laughs> like, like holy shit this kid just like fucking bullied me out of my milk money yeah God, okay damn. so um we we pick up now uh you all sort of walk over Pull you the backwards cap you pass the summit you can all you can all see on this map there's the mm -hmm. cemetery there off to the left um Back where there's dumpsters are, that's going to be where the school theater is. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's the parking lot over here to the right that you've all already seen before. Mm -hmm. And y'all are kind of, uh, I assume you just like drive the Prius over or are you leaving the Prius in the parking lot walking over? Um, leave it in the parking lot walk over. Leave it in the parking lot over. All Bye. right, so yeah. you guys kind of you you uh, meet up with Chase, who is also walking over at the same time. Oh, and Chase, he's like, oh, hey. Well, perfect timing. Hi, Chase. Hi, Chase. Hey, Kaya. Hey, Kaya, Kaya glares at uh, Omo. Hey, Chase. What's going on? Not much, Kent. Uh, how 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 are how how are you doing with the biology paper? Oh, it's coming together. You know, it's been it, it'll be fun. How's the the newspaper? Any uh, exciting leads? Oh, a few. Mm -hmm. Oh, a you few. You can tell that. A few. Yeah. A few. Yeah. Hey. I like Omo look back at everyone know. like Omo is brimming with stories and leads right now. And like this guy has nothing, but this guy's in charge of the paper. Like, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Chase, uh, are you, I heard you got into Medill at Northwestern. You're, you're going to, that's a good journalism school, bud. Yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm really excited to get there and learn all I can. Yeah, dude. Well done. I mean, hey, honestly, from an Ivy to it. No, actually, I don't think Stanford's an Ivy. I don't think Northwestern's an Ivy. It's an ar archaic term. Yeah, uh, Ivies are so out of date anyways. Right. From a great institution to another great institution. I'm just Kudos. excited to be going to a city. You yeah. know, oh. this town's so small. Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to get out of here for sure. For sure. Do you know why Brad's calling us all here? Oh, he wants to do a senior prank. Okay. And so... <laughs> He needs the it's easy to get all the seniors there's like nine of us yeah and yeah. so and so you all manage you you know you go in you have to get to the rooftop from the gymnasium mm -hmm. and then you have to like crawl up the ladder and then like come out on top of the roof and that's how you get there uh and and so uh you you all were the last to arrive uh bradley is already there pacing back and forth passionately um Leroy and Tessa are like cuddled up on one side of the balcony and Sunny Young is on like the polar opposite side of the balcony. Her feet are facing like off of the ledge and she's smoking a cigarette <laughs> in her like 
in in her very cool outfit um and bradley's just like talking to the three of them and you can tell that none of the three of them are listening to bradley um and so uh yeah you all start crawling out from the top um and yeah. bradley's can i i was like guys let me let me handle this first and i want to like pop in at, at, like into it onto the group first yeah so you pop out and bradley goes what yeah yeah psych I was able to convince my parents to push off the campus visit. The polo team can wait for this guy. Um, dude, kings support kings. Kings supporting kings. I'm so pumped you're gonna be here to pull off this epic prank, dude. My man. And then we do a really hard, like, like, like ah, yeah, like, yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. Uh, and like, that is almost enough to distract bradley but unfortunately not enough you see you know chase quietly sneaks up and mm -hmm. everyone gets up and then all of a sudden you hear bradley go hey 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 what are they doing here as they point at bayou bayou taps out uh, a cigarette and lights it <laughs> well i invited by them you didn't say that we can invite other this people. This is for the graduating class, not yeah. people who punched out my window earlier today. Hey, Bradley, what? look, Bradley, it's, crazy. it's been a crazy day, right? You, you've experienced a lot. Why you can get us the good fireworks, okay? We can Jesus. make something really good happen with the this senior prank. This is a prank. fucking small town. <laughs> All right? We'll get the good ones, you know, the ones that you're Technically, so business-minded, Ken. My man. I wish I had the mind for business like you do. Keep your friends all close. Mm -mm. You're thinking three steps ahead. Bradley, I really this... admire that about you. Can I be doing an investigation around this place? Because Omar doesn't want to be here, so there better be a bomb under this place. <laughs> or like, Omar was just like, man, freaking I had to talk to Chase Becker twice in one day. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing is like, it, it, it is very much that feeling of like being around young childhood friends where like, you've had to know each other's business for 18 years. Mm -hmm. And like, whether or not you wanted to, right? When like Leroy's parents got divorced, you heard about that gossip, whether or not you wanted it. Two Halloweens chased one year, he dressed up like Chase Bank. Another year, he dressed up like <laughs> Becker, the TV show. Like we were supposed to figure that out. Like, <laughs> I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> uh, I, I, Ken uh, goes, yeah, man, I uh, look, thank you. I appreciate it. And look at you, look, go get her, put this all together, put this, putting things in motion. And um, by the way, King, don't let me take any more of your time. You've got a meeting to run, go for it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, so, uh, hey, everyone. Hey everyone, if I could get like a bit of your attention for just a few secs. So thank you everyone for arriving here. Obviously this means that everyone here takes our legacy seriously. And I appreciate that. I appreciate each and every single one of you for that. What I'm here and trying to do is make sure that we leave our mark on this dumb school. So personal $100 from me to you via Venmo for the best prank that we can come up with. I'll match that. $200 for the $200 best $200 from me and your boy. What are we thinking? <laughs> Leroy, uh, Tessa, you can stop kissing for a moment and provide suggestions. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kent, what were you saying? Uh, yeah, there's $200 on the line, all right? Do you wanna, do you have any good senior prank ideas? Yes, senior prank ideas. Um, you could turn the hallway into a water slide. You could let loose goats in the. I heard one where you bought where you can buy spider eggs off the internet, and you can just leave them in the school bleachers. Do you need any more ideas, or do you want to continue to ask for my unpaid labor? This is great. No, also valued and it's not unpaid because if you have the best one, you get 200 bucks. Thank you, Tessa. Ball rolling. Let's keep this brainstorm going. No bad ideas. No bad ideas. Uh, Sunny takes a <laughs> takes a drag of her cigarette and she says, we could set the black box on fire. Whoa, <laughs> so we know where the line is. That's good. That's good. So that's like extreme. 
We can, we, if we, we want to go extreme, we can do arson. I don't want to see another goddamn school play come out of this place. Oh, well, you should see Into the Woods. Into the Woods <laughs> is going to be good. I mean, once they clean it up, it's going to be great. Uh, I second the arson. <laughs> Why you gets it? Can Kai make a perception check? She's just kind of observing what's going on and looking for any suspicious activity. What if we sure order 50 grounds? pizzas to Principal Marfigo and then he has to pay for them and then we get to eat all the pizzas because like he's not going to, they're not going to eat 50 pizzas. You know what At I mean? At that point, Bradley goes, yeah. But wait, aren't principals like poor? Oh, crap. I, can, we, can we give him, we can't prepay for it because that's the, the prank is that he has to pay. And that'd be mean. Yeah. What if we left like a, a what if we left the exact amount of money that it would need to cover the bill in like an envelope on his doorstep? And then the order comes in like 30 minutes later. It's like, oh, I'd made all these plans to use this money. I guess I have to use it on 50 pizzas. Yeah, that arson's looking real good now, isn't it? <laughs> There's no bad ideas in brainstorming. I agree with Bayou. <laughs> so that's two for arson. Two for arson. Chase, do we have your vote? And Sunny looks at Chase and Chase like immediately blushes and it's like, yeah, uh, yeah, th three votes for arson. Uh, arson's not a, not a prank, that's just a crime. Uh, do I, do I <laughs> it's a anything? crime that helps humanity, isn't it, Kaya? Are you telling or, me? Or kills it, people too. I'm saying a controlled flame. All I wanna do is ruin the spirit of theater in the small town. Why you like begins to edge away from something? <laughs> like, it's like, oh, I get your vibe. I Bayou's don't get your hard, vibe. but like Bayou ain't. Oh, I'm rich enough that my parents will pay for my bail. Hard. Um, one of the things about that's like, the thing rich is like girls with no boundaries. No one hates. Like you all don't like Jenkins, Nebraska. Sunny, fucking hates it here. And you have a hard time getting Sunny to talk about anything besides how much yeah. she fucking hates it here. Yeah, I think I think Bayou forgot that whenever Bayou got to the roof and was like, oh, another person smoking, they're cool. And now it's like, you don't want to commit crimes with the person whose parents is rich enough to get them out on bail. Mm -hmm. um, paying bail twice? No way. Yeah, yeah no. no, it's like, mm, I ain't, I'm, I'm not like crazy, crazy, like shit. Arson's not sounding so good. At this point, Leroy speaks up and says, hey, you know, it, it should just be a fun, good-natured prank that we all have fun doing as a team. So we should be asking ourselves what sounds like the most fun. Graduating. Well, that slip and slide idea was kind of fun. Huh? Shot through the uh, Omo, you're like brain heavy do you have any ideas brain heavy, brain heavy. <laughs> See, i don't know if that's a phrase i'd use to describe them. Brain heavy. did kaya perceive anything with a 17 yeah uh as you are trying to look around this is the school that you grew up at all of this is familiar and full of sameness to you the only thing that feels slightly out of touch is the deep violet sky as the sun begins to sink. What time does the meteor shower scheduled to start? Sunset. To start? So guys, I mean, look, there's a lot of options. We can do the slip and slide. We could, I heard, uh, I heard something about goats earlier. That's super fun. The, there's options of livestock. We can definitely get something in there. Um, you know, we could, we could, oh, guys, what if we did this? What if we did this? What if we got a bunch of jello packets and filled the pool with them so the water would turn into jello? Huh? Huh? That's pretty fun. That's not a bad prank. Mm -hmm. Doesn't jello need to set in the fridge? Oh, also the water's chlorinated, so nobody could eat the jello. That would be like well, real, real bad. It. It's just, that's gross. Why, uh, wait, like you would put your body in that jello and then you would eat it? You could Ooh. pour concrete mix into the pool. No more pool. Okay, okay, Sunny. Excellent, excellent, <laughs> bright addition once again. Um, that, you know what could be funny? What if we took apart Principal Marfigo's car and put it together in his office? I saw an episode of Boy Meets World and it killed. It killed when they did it. That sounds like a lot of work. And does anyone here know how to put a car together or, no, or take no one. one apart? No. I mean, I know a little bit about. I. I mean, I could. Leroy I could... says, I mean, yeah, I work on my 
car i work on cars with my dad every saturday all right leroy i don't know this could be a good plan Bradley, what do you think? Is, is was this a senior prank vibe you were feeling? I just want to be legendary, man. None of this is screaming legendary to me. Well, then you come up with something. I'm not on a student council. Tess is the ideas person, followed by Leroy. Then it's Kent. Then it's Chase. Then it's Sonny. Then it's me. Ugh. Omo and Bayou are not on that list. <laughs> no, <laughs> Bayou wouldn't be on that list anyway, but Kaya also wasn't on that list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hmm, damn, that's fucking rough. <laughs> Bayou's like standing in the corner, like smoking cigarillos. <laughs> it's just like smoke, smoking cigarillos. I yeah, cigarillos, <laughs> little black and miles. Oh, <laughs> it's God. just like, wow. Kent, I really thought you'd have like a monster cool. prank in mind. What? The, the jello pool? Jello pool isn't monster enough for you? That They would have to replace all the pool water. You could walk across the pool because it was jello. We could do yeah. hallway water slides into jello pool. Oh, look at that. See, this is why there's no Brad ide bad ideas in brainstorming. No, only together. Brad ideas. Oh, only right? Brad ideas, <laughs> my man. All king right. supporting kings. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So does, can anyone top hallway water slides? into jello pool we switch out all the furniture from u-town <laughs> oh. uh, bayou piggybacks off of that and like takes a deep drag what well, if we switch out all this furniture from valiant yeah this actually ties into and then bradley kind of looks around conspiratorially and says listen I was gonna make this a bros night out kind of thing. Like I was originally only gonna let it be Leroy, Chase, Brad, Kent and me for a bros night. But there needs to be a bros night heist at Valiant High tonight. I don't know. It if sounds like you're gonna to steal that. bros. No, 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 no. <laughs> right? Am I wrong? Now we want to be good friends to to MacArthur over here and hear I him know. out before we shout it shut it down. So, as some of you may know, I was keeping my Brad's birthday blowout stash in the guard tower at Valiant High. I mean, Ken knows this. <sighs> and then that rat. Henry McRonald totally did me in. Wow. Now there's guards all over the place at Valiant. And I can barely get to my goods that are essential for a good time at my birthday blowout. The last party that all of us will ever do together. So here's what I'm thinking. We make this a two-in-one deal. We go get my stash. We go get the furniture from Valiant High. And we make it happen. Good idea, strong no. idea. I yeah. would say no, though, because guys, um, they're still radiated. It's still heavily radiated. And if we're gonna do a, a lab, we're not just like running in and getting, we're gonna stay there. We're gonna pick up stuff. We're gonna sneak behind guards, guys. Yeah, you're asking us to put ourselves in danger so that you can get your stuff. We might as well burn it the black box. It sounds like you just don't have the guts to do it yourself, and so you want us to do it for you. And it's at that point that Sunny says, see, Bradley, I told you that Kent and Kaya would ruin the groove. And she what? kind of just like, yeah, everyone knew that you two would be total buzzkills. Okay, guys, just because we do well in school and we're the valedictorian and salutatorian, doesn't mean we're buzzkills, okay? I'm perfectly fine with being the buzzkill. I didn't want to come here anyway. Of course you're perfectly fine with being the buzzkill, Kaya. Tessa speaks up for the first time. That's what you've been doing for the last four years, isn't it? She just rolls her eyes and just goes uh, up to looking at yeah. the sky. Bayou rolls their shoulders and like straightens their back. Omo is a little uh, happy in this moment. <laughs> Just because, like, he did not want to go here. He did not want to see these people. He did not want to, like, protect them or whatever. We're in this, in, but, like, kind of just like, okay, you guys are seeing how hard this is. <laughs> uh, but if these jerks take it a little too far, Omo is just going to flip out. Uh, <laughs> he's a barbarian. So, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> on a roof. You, on you, a you roof. clock one of these people, they're flying off. Yeah. yeah. And at this point, Sonny says, Bradley, I'm in. Leroy and Tessa make eye contact. And then they look back at Bradley and say, yeah, that place has been abandoned for like so many years. We're sure it's fine. It's, or else... it's not abandoned. It's covered in guards now. Yeah, until they found out about the stash, which clearly means that they didn't care about it before now. We're in. And what if you guys get caught? <laughs> Bradley laughs. <laughs> I'm too good to get caught. Vanderbilt, you in? The last person to tell him to stay away from the high school was his parents. Kent looks at Bradley. Kings support the Kings. Kings. I got yeah, you, my Vanderbilt. man. We're, We're so going to in. Valley and High. Let's do it. Omo, let's hear it. Let's let's hear what? That you agree you're the last senior. Let's go. <sighs> It might be the center of it all, Omo. It's going to be the sickest prank of the century. We're going to show them that, like, they don't even care about Valiant High anyways. And, like, it's just going to be a sick prank, dude. I don't want to have to explain my prank to you. <laughs> but I want you to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, endanger yourself and it's also with like going to jail. Bros heist. You had to come for the bros heist anyways. Wait, this is, this is Wang's only? What is going on here? No, it was going to be a bros heist. It was originally planned for me to be a bros heist, but it's kind of expanded to an all, all like Which everyone's gotta an exclusive you. heist. You know, I gotta, I gotta oh, ask you on that one. When you read off the bros list, though, and like yeah. I look back at everyone else, I wasn't on the bros list. Yeah, it was it was Omo, Kent, Bradley. That's me, Leroy, and Chase. Wait, did you bros. say Omo? I thought I. I, would, I don't know <laughs> if, if so Bradley <laughs> accidentally left you out. Uh, you know, that's my bad. That's my bad, Omo. I just, you're kind of a wallflower sometimes. And, you know, that's just, that, that's, that's not me. Wallflower? I'm not, a, I'm not the wall. Chase Becker is the wallflower. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're like the wallpaper flower. Very loud, but yet against a wall. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, sorry, good, good I didn't mean insight. to pop off like that. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Go off, King. King support kings, yes. That's a good what does that mean? No, that's not what that means. You guys, I've been king. pretending to know what that means for a very long time, but you guys say yeah. it all the time. What does that mean? Well, well, what does what mean? I'm, oh, king support kings? Yeah. Well, I'm you a just king. gotta love, lift a, each other. Yeah, gotta uplift each other. You got king support kings. Uh, support yeah. each other's passions, goals, and desires. Yeah. But frankly. you say it for everything, like trivial stuff too. So it doesn't make yeah. any sense. Because we're not tying our worth and value with typical toxic masculine traits. Anytime yeah, we succeed in any way, but king a king, support kings. A king has to be the most toxic of, of of all masculine things. He's literally a male like god of the people. No, no, no. Are you saying that classism is getting in their way of our improved feminism? Get out of here, all right? Come Get on, out of here. You're not a king. You're not a king. You're not a king. This is not very kingly of you. Yeah. It's like, it looks like we got a real Omega over here. Uh, <laughs> but you, but you notice that, like, that. Sunny's kind of, like, nodding at Omo approvingly. <laughs> uh, in the midst of all of that, like, Bayou has moved closer to Kaya and is like, look, Look, but uh, I think it'll be easier to protect them if we at least know where they are. And uh, the dope Bradley and Anarchist Barbie over there were pretty set on going. So great. might as well, well shepherd just... them. Great. Because nothing bad's going to happen there. <sighs> nothing good happens anywhere. What if they end up being magic too? She kind of looks well, over at uh, at what's her name with the cert with the cigarette? Sunny. 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 Yeah, okay. she's just like, I don't think I want to see Sunny with magic. <laughs> <Not at all. laughs> but if there's any chance, if this is tied to the pedestals and there's any chance that that magic helps them protect themselves, our job's half done. All right, so we all agree, all inclusive heist tonight. Yes. Your... We got to figure out carpooling. How are we get in there? I do have my Hummer, so I, we could just do that. Oh, God. Um, I will almost take, out of car. We'll, we're, do they still I'll, I'll take almost Prius. They do. Yeah. Do they really? Yep. You're going to get in a Prius? 
Yeah, I, I, I respect I just, it. Save the Earth. You know what? That's yeah. all me. I have to unlearn that. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Mother, Kings Earth, Kings. Mother Earth 2021. <laughs> 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 all right. King supporting kings supporting Earth. Supporting oh my god, kings. I just looked up Hummer 2021. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> good oh. idea. Hummer supporting kings. Yeah. Oh. All right, we're gonna go steal the theater blacks from uh, the theater and change into those and then make the heist happen or what? I mean, Bradley, I like the enthusiasm, especially the thematic look of all of us dressing in black. Do we need that? Like, could we just go? No, yeah, we're undercover. This is the this is the all inclusive heist. Of course, we need corresponding outfits, Ugh. especially if I'm going to post it on Instagram. What okay, are you, you talking okay, about? Okay, Bradley, don't do that. Bradley, Please, no, I, you're not. You king, can't, can't post this. What are you talking about? Yes, King. You, look, a king is supporting a king right listen, now. My and account's on private, so like it's fine. Nope, it's still not fine because there's going to be a, a track record. Then what's the dude. point? Do you do you have followers? Yeah. Okay, well, you are they understand. outside of this group? <laughs> Bradley is not understanding you in this. <laughs> Bradley, you understand other people can see it, though, right? Yeah, yeah. that's the point. I want people to see. Yes, so right. you want us to Good. get caught, is what you, you're you saying. You want, okay, but you, you know that. I want other people to see. I just don't want other people to comment. Hey, Brad, my man. Here's what. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna yeah. have. A, we're gonna. The, we're gonna go. We're gonna take a bunch of photos, and then we're gonna do like a celebrity wedding on this thing. And we, months later, we're gonna be like, oh, by the way, I did that. Everyone just see that. That's why Kent's gonna be our homecoming king, right there, prom king. Suck on it, Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't shout at it. That's Instead the only person of... running, right? Leroy and Tessa? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, you yo, suck it, Leroy. Suck and Sunny just goes, Wow, we are still children. And she like pulls up the hatch downstairs and she's like, if we're gonna go steal from Valiant High, we've gotta do it. Uh and I think with that, the hatched opened to go pursue this heist is where we will end tonight's session of Generation Fantasy. Woo. Woo. Fun. So nice to be back. Yes. So for tuning into this episode, I've been KM the DM. If you'd like to see more of what I do, you can follow me at May on all platforms. I stream session prep on Fridays. I'm going to start doing that again for this very campaign. If you want to come hear secrets like the fact that Zelda Bradbury was Kaya's grandmother, my audience already knew that. So uh, if you want to come to hear all those secrets, that's the place to do it. Uh, so I do that every Friday. As always, you can go to generation.com to read the session notes uh, from all the sessions we've done and get some more in-world lore. Uh, and that's really rad. Hey, this is an amazing group of players. I love them so much. They're some of my best friends. Uh, please follow them and do all the things that they're about to tell you to go do. Let's start with TK. Okay, please, the notes. Oh, Hello. we're going to go on opposite. Masood. All right. Oh, good. Uh, Thanks. Okay, so put a timer on the clock because here's how I want to use my time. I'm on uh, <laughs> Twitter and Instagram. I'm a rude boy. Um, the rest of y'all, I would like to uh, yield my closing for you to roast my outfit. This oh, is <laughs> I like this. I, this I okay. yield mine too. So add that to the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like you've tried to murder Jonathan Van Ness to take a spot in Queer Eye. Ooh, I like <laughs> oh, that one. You. I like that one. Oh my god. Uh, I feel like you're uh, <laughs> you're starring you're starring in the all POC cast of uh, uh, Iron Fist on uh, Netflix. <laughs> 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 smart on, smart on. I will tell you, I, I, for the folks in chat, if you need to get them in, I did use the girl with the or the woman with the purple earring as my inspiration. I don't know Pearl if that's clear. Oh, Pearl earring. Thank you, okay. thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah. You look like a fitness Instagrammer who got divorced two months ago and is trying to reinvent his brand. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lying a lot, putting a every lot of things time, out there. Every yeah. week he's divorced. Like, what, what is up with that? You, you I look... Just, <laughs> You, you look, look like, like a guy who's playing character Go on. in a, like a bootleg girl with a purple earring movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the Taiwanese version of it that was released straight mm -hmm. to DVD. Yeah. You look like uh uh like you're starring in a live action three blind mice. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh you also look like a guy who plays saxophone uh at pop bellies. Uh <laughs> <laughs>
You look like an actor who was asked to do a stage reading of the play, but they expressly told the cast not to dress up, and then you did anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's my last one. I'm That's done. Good. Solana, you, you gotta get like one. Like a Target Pride advertisement. Know. Oh God. <laughs> like a Target Pride ad. Ooh. Hey, just like me, written and designed by a straight person, so you know it's not right. <laughs> um. Yeah, Solana, get one in. Hell no. Why? It's the, it's the best part of the game. Oh, it really just, is. That's what we've been waiting for. All the only night. thing I can think of is a DJ pirate. That's all I can think ah! of. DJ pirate's good. Honestly, I get it. it looks like you, you look like a, a fucking cruise ship uh, employee who's trying to dress up from Pirates Night, but had his raid like his fucking co worker's closet to try and come up with a costume. Oh, Kenny, just give me the scarf. <laughs> You, you you look like you look like a a, a jazzer size instructor action figure <laughs> that comes with a water bottle. Uh. <laughs> you look like the avatar for somebody who plays Dead by Daylight but can't actually afford afford like the good outfits, so they just mix and match other outfit accessories <laughs> trying to personalize their character for free. Okay, this yeah. feels red because that is how I play Dead by Daylight. Thank yeah. you. I know. <laughs> Uh, Steve, uh, part Steve Nicks, part Stevie Wonder's great. Uh, that one was also good. the wine auntie who's going, who's doing the walk of shame with her third oh, ex husband. That one's good. I like that one. That uh, is the good picture, one. the picture. You do look like a wine auntie. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're showing up to brunch, but your girlfriend, you don't want your girlfriends to know that you've been crying and you haven't showered for three days. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I like my sunglasses on. I think I think I look better with them on. Yeah, let's get like um an outside seat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you do look like you're about to ugly cry into a, like a plate of eggs Benedict. <laughs> All right, good. Solani, tell us about yourself. That's good. Uh, hi, I'm Solani. Uh, I'm Mistress First on Twitter and Twitch. And uh, when I'm not here, I am uh, DMing for Plot Hunters, except that uh, we are on a break before the start of our next season. But this weekend, this Saturday, uh, we are going to play a one shot that is going to be DM'd by our very own Ishigosha. And mm -hmm. I think it's going to be Monster of the Week creepy cosmic horrorness so that'll be really interesting so we'll be playing at the plot hunter switch channel at 5 p.m all Hi. right very cool carlos hey what's up my name's carlos luna you can find me on all social media under carlos grits um yeah this is all i have going on which is nice tk it's me, it's TK. I only do this. And then on Saturday, I play Spooky Slumber Party with Katie May. Not this Saturday, though. I'm going to Nashville. Ooh. Ooh. I love it. And you won't drive up further to Chicago to see me? It's for a birthday party. All right. It's like, it's like six hours or hours. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's, it's, like, pretty it's pretty not, not, it's not an easy <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I have to drive to Nashville a week this weekend to see TK. Oh, are you a gay do friend? It. <laughs> do it. Do Nashville, it. coward. Do, do it. it. Do it. What else I are you doing? I don't need my up. car this weekend. Come borrow you, it. Just pay for you gas. You know what? Fucking come for me. <laughs> I'll do it if you're not careful. Um, this is all the people we had to introduce. You'll uh, do make it sure that I asked you're... you to. Make sure that you're following us on twitch.tv slash indoor recess crew. We hang out over there all the time. Uh, it, we're long due for a game night, so we'll probably yeah. do a game night over there soon. Also, um, once upon a game, Katie May, we we'll really back. should talk. We'll, yeah, we'll, we should. Yeah, really we'll talk. come back. Or a yeah. movie watch. Um, or a movie watch. Movie yeah, we night. do movie watches all the time in our Discord, uh, which is really great. Uh, we'll post a, a link to our Discord on our Twitter. Uh, in case anybody wants to go out and hang out with us. We collect rumors from the audience in there too. If you want to help influence the story, uh, going over there is going to be great or tuning into the Friday session prep. But uh, this is a great episode of Gen F. We revealed so many secrets that I th did not think we would get to, uh, which means fun for me. Um, so thank you all for hanging out with us and uh, we'll see you this time next week uh, where we have an all-inclusive heist. Bye. 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 Tweet me your account.